Hey guys, we'll be with you in just a couple of minutes. Sorry, lots of moving pieces to this one. Um, we're doing a quick sound check. Let us know if you're hearing us and seeing us in the chat, and then we'll be back in just a minute or two. Thanks, guys. I'm just gone. Nope. We're good? Okay. Start over. Keep going. Okay. Uh, so maybe we were muted and we're good now. Whatever. Okay. Um, so to start over, we have been putting in some pretty, pretty long hours uh, over the last little bit here. Um, I would say we condensed about a little under a year's worth of work into just a couple of months. Um, oh, yeah. It should be a 12 to 18 month process yeah. that we crammed into three to four. And not even all of that could be this because we were dealing with Pheasant Fest. We were dealing with employee stuff. It was just it's been insane. So I said the other day, um, Patrick asked me, are, were you more nerv are you more nervous for this or for your before your wedding? And I wasn't really nervous for my wedding. So I said, probably this. And I said, either way, you're most likely going to see me cry tomorrow. Either it's going to go poorly and I'm going to cry tears of rage and frustration, or it's going to go well and I'm going to cry tears of happiness. So I, I, I'm hoping we're on the tears of happiness trail. Although I think trail and tears are not words you should put together. <laughs> no, <laughs> probably, yeah, not. probably not. Probably not. No. Uh, but so a couple of the, uh, the, the bugs that we're still trying to chase down here um, are some commercial shipping options, um, but that's not gonna affect retail customers at all. Um, some sh shipping s surcharges stuff, um, right now it's working one way. Well, it's working in the, in, in the customer's favor. We're so. gonna fix yeah. that and stop that from working in your benefit. Um, but that, again, that's more of a commercial thing. Retail guys, you're never gonna max out on shipping uh, surcharges, or at least most likely you won't. Um, yeah, most people probably aren't buying 10 to 20 cases of cure at yeah, one no, time. No, no, most home guys are not doing that. Uh, okay, so we've got a fairly full live stream. Uh, we're going to want to chat with you guys about any issues you're having on Waltons.com. We're going to try to to fix them live or at least troubleshoot them live. Um, the one thing that everybody had to do was reset passwords, obviously. Um, and I know that's kind of annoying, but uh, in the long run, it's a fairly reasonable price to pay for a faster, more stable platform and something that offers us more functionality and frees up a bunch of more of our time so we can go do other things that we at least see as a value add to customers, viewers, anything like that. Um, we will get back on the track of making good videos. Uh, we're going to release some stuff in the blog. There's now a Walton's blog uh, later in the day, something from Austin. Did you write anything? He did not. It's all in my head. I just <laughs> haven't put it to paper yet. We're going to release something from Dylan, something from myself, uh, and something from Austin, just kind of our thought. Pro Are we not releasing Dylan's? Oh, no, uh, that's okay. fine. Sorry, I'm just yeah, okay. chewing um, on my lip. 
something just our, like our thought processes, what happened, why we decided that this was the right um, path to go down, even though it was a, a difficult path. Uh, a couple other things. We are going to draw a winner for the 50-pound um, meat mixer that I've used here in all my Walton's videos for the past two years or something. Um, so somebody will win that. I'm getting a new one. Uh, and then we are going to announce the giveaway for April, which if you've already been on Waltons.com, you've probably already seen what it is. Um, but in case you haven't, we will let that suspense build a little bit. It is one of the biggest giveaways we've ever done. So pretty good stuff. I'm just so relieved, man. I am so relieved. I've been grumpy is the wrong word. I just constantly on edge for the last like 14 months, something <laughs> like that. So, yeah. Just as soon as we started seeing those orders come through, somebody, so we flipped Waltons.com live last night. We actually made it where that was accessible to everybody. Uh, we didn't announce it and we didn't point anything from Waltonsinc.com to Waltons.com. But Austin sent me an email this morning. He's like, hey, somebody already got in and placed an order. Uh, and we ran that through with uh, another of our IT guys. Uh, we pushed it into our backend system. It worked fine. So that was a big, a big relief. Uh, the last like hour, which is a stupid amount of time to spend on this, um, we've been working on embedding the chat code onto the website. Uh, we ended up, we, I think it was a setting in YouTube. Uh, since we changed to Waltons.com instead of waltonsinc.com, we had to add that as something we could share to. Uh, once we did that, everything seems to work just fine. So, so I, I have to bring this up, even though I responded to uh, Ryan in the chat. Ryan said that I think I'm experiencing signs of trichinosis after eating mm -hmm. the mountain lion. Do not do that to me today. Yeah, right. <laughs> if, that, if, if he's serious, tell me that tomorrow. Yeah, another day. <laughs> another day for that. So for anyone who's curious, um, Ryan had a, a friend who was able to get us some mountain lion. Uh, it was a loin. Um, we smoked it for uh, a couple hours. Um, I marinated it in a sweet ginger chili marinade. It's a new one we're getting from Excalibur. And then I very lightly rubbed it with the wild game seasoning because um, obviously we wanted – how many chances are we going to get to try that? It was almost indistinguishable from pork. Like, I would say as close to one-to-one -one as you can get. Uh, yeah. Incredibly tender for wild game. Not even just for wild game. It's just incredibly tender. Really, really nice taste. Um, I'd heard Nick from Nick's Wild Ride. Uh, he told us, we thought he was joking with us, that Mountain Lion's his favorite meat now. Um, and I'd heard some guys in, like, the, the Meat Eater podcast tree um, say that they now prefer it over anything else. And I I didn't really believe them, but I had to think, like, I thought there's got to be something to it. Everyone's saying it. Uh, they were right. It was absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. So I was glad we got to do that. Whew. All right. Let's, uh, let's draw a winner for something just in celebration. I'm seeing a couple guys mentioning uh, their passwords not resetting for them. Um, any thoughts up there? I my, my lame is mine is like uh, maybe you've tried that password before, but obviously I assume that they would have. I'm guessing. So if you didn't well. get a password, like if a password didn't come to you, I would guess it's because you don't have it associated with the email you think you do. That'd be my guess. Um, so if you're putting in an email and you're never receiving anything. Like we had somebody do that in the media department. It was because when he signed up, we were waltonsinc.com email addresses, but he was putting in waltons.com. So it's a different email address. Okay. So, so yeah, anybody that's having issues with passwords, let us know. Are you getting the reset email and it's still not working or are you trying to reset it and you're never even getting that reset email sent to you? Because if it's never the reset email, I'm, I'm imagining either there's a problem with the port and you didn't get ported over which means you're gonna have to reset up a new account unless we can figure something out, or B, it is a, just a different email than the one you're putting in. Is there uh, character? Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Is there ahead. character rules with the passwords as far as like lowercase, uppercase? 
I don't believe so. No. Okay, cool. Just make but sure. that is a good time to make my 10th account on Waltons.com. Oh, oh, uh, that those settings are all in the the admin side. We don't have them on though. So uh, you're saying we're good, but I am gonna try it. Fairly sure. Nope, it's time to try it. Um, Austin taught me a, what I thought was a neat trick, in that you can can anybody use the plus thing, or is that just? It's gonna depend on their email host. So for some people, you can use your regular email. So mine's like this. I would use the beginning of that, then a plus sign, then whatever I wanted, then at dot com or something dot com, and it all forward to the same thing. It makes it a lot easier to keep separate things. Like yeah. I have John plus retail, John plus commercial, John plus new account, all that stuff. Uh, and for a password, what's very simple? We don't have password complexity turned on, so it should let people do literally whatever they want. It has to be seven characters and contain both uh, alphabetic and numeric characters. So Weird. That's it. So you have to do seven characters long, and it's got to contain at least one number, or at least one letter. Aha. The setting lies to us. Um, or maybe that just means we can control the complexity, but, but that's the but default. But that's the then. default. Yeah, it could be. Um, it could also just be that all uh technology is a lie could be that could be um for meetjustics users you also may have noticed we're now meetjustics.waltons.com instead of meetjustics.waltonsinc.com i don't think that's ever going to matter but i guess it's worth knowing all right drawing a winner for new website launch um this will just be for some jerky and some seasoning I'm about to report a message in the chat as either hate speech and graphic violence or harassment and bullying. I'm not really sure. Okay. What, did what is say? the <laughs> uh, text said? It should be noted that Team Blue is still winning. Oh, the yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> I read. I wasn't going to give that any love. So. All right. So the first winner of the new Waltons.com live streams is uh, Terry Chrisman. Terry, let us know you're here. Your photo is you holding what looks to be a catfish, maybe? Or maybe it's a pike. I can't quite tell. It won't blow up for me, but I'm going to zoom in. So it sounds like... It's a, it's a salmon, maybe? I mean, back me up. It's very blurry when you blow it up this John, way, but it's hard to tell. It's a fish. Come it's on. very hard. I'm going to say it's a catfish. Oh, it kind of looks like it's got a. I can't tell. Terry, let us know what kind of fish it was. Um, I am also trying to keep an eye on my phone um, because I was. I'm lucky enough to have employees or coworkers here who are willing to help me out. Um, one of our girls who works in purchasing uh, works with Beauties and Beasts, which is where I got my first dog from. So she's very familiar with aggressive dogs. She had to go <laughs> to my house and walk my. Two dogs. The one, the little one, that literally is 100 pounds, <laughs> loves her, loves Liz. The other one's 186 pounds, and he's a little persnickety sometimes. So I'm trying to keep an eye out, make sure that she's not getting mauled. Two things. Couldn't you just skip the walk today, and Terry Christman is here. In the awesome. Chat, so. Awesome. So congratulations, Terry. Uh, I will reach out to you, um, and we'll get you some jerky, and we will get you a bag of seasoning of your choice. Um, no, they can't ever... Skip the walk. The inside of my house is already a, a mess because I have two huge dogs running around. So if they don't get to go outside, it's so much worse. <laughs> so it sounds like a lot of the people that are having issues with the uh, forgot password thing is um, just issues with getting the email. Um, a couple people saying it took like five minutes or so to get. A couple people saying it went to their spam folder. Mm. So if you're yeah trying to reset your password for your account... Um, Check your spam folder. Give it a couple minutes to come through. Um, our email provider, um, they, it, 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 I don't think they should be having any more issues because it looks, it, at least in theory, it looks like they were resolved, but they were having some issues earlier today. So, Are we going to cache our reviews? Cache our reviews. The, are the review service, are we going to go to cache that instead of live? Um yeah okay uh so try to so we've been obviously part of what we've been doing the last couple of weeks is test 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 every conceivable thing we could think of um and all week long speed was pretty much fine um getting your email password stuff that was all pretty much fine then this morning right around the time 
I literally, I left our IT guy's office. I said, I'm going to go talk to my guys real quick, see if we're all comfortable, and then I'm going to come back and say, let's go live. From that point, it was about two hours till I told them to go live because all of a sudden we started seeing like speed issues and it didn't make any sense, could not figure it out. Um, we think we've isolated what it is and we're going to change the way uh, we serve that information to you. Right now, it's, it's like a live-ish thing. Um, so that's when you ask a question or write a review, when we answer, it goes right to the website. Now it's going to wait until we have it run overnight, I guess. Probably. Yeah. So shouldn't be too much of a difference here, and it'll keep the website faster. Uh, the interesting thing is how much faster it seems to be on the on a mobile than on a desktop. It is blazing fast on a phone. Oh. Uh, two things. One, that could be real. Could be of how how I have things set up as it runs through Cloudflare. Okay. Um, it does some special things to help it on mobile um but then it could just be luck of the draw and the internet connection because what we were seeing here this morning with stuff um i think it could be something inside our network that is blocking slash slowing things down oh, really so that's why when you're on your phone then you're not you're not running through the Past firewall it, right. and everything in the back yeah. and um huh. all the extra antivirus software there so um yeah just less stuff that has to make its way through so cool um for anybody who hasn't made their way over to waltonsinc.com slash sales uh we've got new sales for the month going um i'd have no idea how we're going to end last month's sales from our previous platform we'll figure that out uh but one of them is free suction cup feet with the purchase of any of our dual speed grinders that's the 7 11 26 or 33, you don't even have to add it to your cart. It will be added for you um, if you buy one of those stuffers in the next 30 days. 31 days? Technically 31 days. There's a so. meat, meat question coming in. Okay. Let's see. Let's Hopefully we can help them out. So he goes, so I'm going to be making all pork pepperoni using meat that was dry aged for two and a half months. It will be long cured using back to firm. Since it's dry aged, it's not. Uh, it's got less moisture. Yeah. Should I still target thirty percent weight loss? No, you won't have as much moisture. To, um, no, no, because you won't have as much moisture in the meat to lose. Uh, I'm going to Iowa State University this month, next month, April, um, for a, a dry cured sausage meat class. So it'd be a much better question to ask next week, but or next month, but I uh, will try and get you an answer on that because that is an interesting question. Actually, I'll just get them through Ring Central. Is anyone seeing any problems, like any order problems? So it's really just log in. No, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, the the biggest things I've seen and heard and everything is, is all just login based. The, there is good news. Uh, is there bad news? No, about just about the whole login thing. In theory, this may be the last time we have to ever reset passwords. Just because... Um, when you switch from platform to platform, you cannot take the encrypted, salted, hashed, uh, whatever combination of things is done to it. So you can't read the password. So it's stored securely. You can't take that with you because then the new platform doesn't know what to do with it. Um, uh, reversing it is uh, not ideal. Um, shouldn't be possible. Um, so when we move platforms like this, we have to reset people's passwords. However, um, with what we're on now, um, there, if for some reason something ever changes or say there's just a new version that for some reason is incompatible with what we're doing, I don't know, something crazy happens, um, there is a way that we can use what we're on now to validate passwords against something else. So if okay. we moved, we could have it run off that site, validate off of this, and if it came through as good, we could take that hash and store that, and then we would 
have what we need to validate the password. Okay. Um, that makes sense. I, I, this is probably, yeah, probably too technical for most people. But uh, then the cool thing about it is um, the next step is I don't know if we'll have one of our in-house developers do it or if we'll just send it to the NodeBB, NodeBB guys. But we ought to be able to, like, Combine. very seamlessly integrate the MeetJustics login with the Walton's login. So it'd be the same yeah. for both. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. That would make things super easy. Um, all right. Last thing I want to try before I tell Rachel to put this back live. Is it working? Does sales forward to? It does not. So our um, forwarding of Walton sales to, or sales to Walton sales is not up. Did you put it in as a 301 redirect? Yes. Okay, I'll look at it in a second. I'm I'm creating a coupon code because someone asked for it, and yep. so I'm I don't know uh, what I'm doing yet, but yeah, coupon codes are fairly easy. Um, not a, quite as much customization as we could do, but at least we can do them, and they work reliably instead of sitting up here for 20 minutes as we try to get something to work and then test it. Blah blah blah. And on and on. Okay, so Dylan responded. Well, Steve, Steve's got a question about fibrous casings. Uh, that's traditionally what he uses for summer sausage, but now we've seen people use um, cloth casings. I think we can help him out with that. I think well, we yeah, it. it's the very similar to the uh, lined casing. It's the same like textile thing. So they also use something called muslin. Um, we don't carry any muslin casings. Um, the closest we would have to that would be uh, the Spice Line 65 millimeter. Um, so I asked. <laughs> oh, did he not fix that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is entertaining. We talked about that. Just a fun little typo it's, just came across. I, I'm pretty sure I told him wrong, um, but. I don't, I don't care who did it wrong. It was it was worth getting wrong for a nice good laugh. <laughs> so I got I guess I guess I have dual grind on the brain. Um, oh, so what he's told, wait have you told people that we're doing that? I think every everybody knows at this point. What he's laughing about is uh, for the stuffer suction cup feet set on the sales page. I had a banner made and it says free with purchase of a dual grind stuffer, not dual speed stuffer. Um, so just, I had one of our guys make it up for us and I'm pretty sure I just said dual grind, even though I meant dual speed, obviously. From the back end, you guys won't care about this, but from the back end, the nicest thing about this so far is just the ability to go to the website and click a button and it takes you right to the back end to edit that product. Uh -huh. I can't tell you how much I enjoy that feature. Uh, I fixed the sales thing. So if you go to slash sales, now it takes you to the slash Walton sales. Cool. Uh, so there will be in a couple of minutes uh, a link up on the orange banner to the left of where it says meet Gistics that will take you to the sales. So what exactly is March's winner going to get today? March's winner is going to win the 12 inch pro vacuum sealer, a collection of our bags, an artisan apron, a assortment of our seasonings. Should have said that backwards, an assortment of bags and like our favorite seasoning shakers and um, Walton's hat. We can draw that here in just a couple of minutes. Um, according to Dylan, um, says dry aging pork isn't really done very often, um, but water loss isn't directly important. pH and water activity are what you really need to pay attention to there. Thank you, Dylan. Okay. Good on that. Whew. Just keep going back to 
keeping an eye on orders, expecting something to go terribly wrong, but it doesn't seem like anything has so far. What's the coupon code you're making? Austin three thirty one twenty two. Oh, good lord! What is it good for? I I don't know yet. I'm still working <laughs> on that because you. Th- we have some more options to do like tiered discounts and mm-hmm. things like that. So I'm going to do one that's, I'm doing one that's like, yeah, multiple levels. I'm just tinkering. Okay. So Austin's apparently working on some sort of great coupon code for you guys. So while you're waiting, go ahead and reset your password. Um, there is also an option. Uh, if you go through and you've added things to your cart and you get to the checkout point, and you realize that you haven't um, logged in. There is an option to send me a link to sign in. So you click that. It's one of my favorite features. It is a good feature. It sends a link to your email address. You click that. It'll open up your browser and get you past that screen. Um, and you're basically logged in from just clicking a button. So if you've forgotten a password, you don't necessarily need to reset it. You can just click that button and it'll do all the logging in for you, which is a very nice feature. Um, There is something that we are working on that technically is live, um, but I've hidden it, uh, and that is uh, kits. So in under the seasonings, uh, if you click shop under seasonings, uh, there at the end will be three, I think it's three uh, different categories. There's snack stick, jerky, and summer sausage kits. Uh, and those pages will have everything you need to be able to make those. It has lists of all the equipment, all the seasonings, all the additives, casings, and just like general supplies. Um, and we have them in carousels. Uh, this morning, the carousels started not working great. Uh, they kept collapsing down and putting everything all over on top of each other. So you couldn't see anything. Uh, so we've disabled that or hidden that until uh, we get that working and we already have a ticket open with the the company on that one Um, but it is almost odd how relaxed and smooth I feel about this right now It's much better than the last one. The other, the other great thing that, like, I'm thinking about though too is like with the last one, we were just fixing problems the whole time, and we never got to come out with some of the things that we wanted to come out with. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do some you know, of the like, new features, add new functionality. None of that ever. Whereas happened. we, it, there, there is some extra functionality in this than what we had, but this, but there's a lot of stuff that we're going to continue to be able to do in addition to it. Mm-hmm. Um, just the, one of the first ones I've seen several comments on it. Um, people complain about losing order history. Um, but I promise you, uh, you will have that back from the last website and I will actually, I will reach back and I will pull that back from the website before that, from the website before that. Um, oh, you don't go back that far. Yeah. I you still, are? yeah, it's not, it's not hard. Okay. Um, so it will all be back. It's just, we did not prioritize doing that right now because we already didn't have access to that. And that was one of the things we were trying to do on the last site. So we we're basically trying to get to an equal status now with bugs fixed. So from here, I think we'll have order history done by next week. Um, awesome. Uh, so for those of you that like to go in and look and see what did I buy last year when I was making sausage or around Christmas time, um, we'll have, we still have all that order history for you guys, and we'll have that back imported to your accounts uh, within, a, within a week, less than a week for sure. Um, a very important note for those of you who are concerned, my dogs did not eat my friend. She's back and took care of them. Thank you, Liz, if you're watching. Um, darn it, there was something I was going to... Okay, uh, one of the things that we're working on that we're aware of is when you go to a product's page, you have the title... And then you have how many stars, then you have reviews and ask a question. Right now, if you click reviews or ask a question, nothing happens. That's because at the bottom, reviews is 
accordioned down. Yeah, they call it they it. call yeah. it accordion tab. So it's got like that little down arrow. So if you click on that, that opens it up, and then if you scroll back to the top of the page, just because you like to make things more difficult on yourself, and then click six reviews, it'll take you there. Uh, we're gonna kill those accordion tabs. So fairly soon here, I hope at least we'll just be able to. As soon as you come here, you can click those things, and it'll take you right to it. Um, and then the ask a question feature is the same thing. It's in that same box. Um, we've got product videos on a good amount of them. So if you're looking for information on like the chamber vac seal or something like that, uh, if it has a main video on it, we've put that down in between product overview, product videos, and reviews. Uh, another big change that some people may or may not notice is we no longer have a short description up towards on the other side of the screen from the product. Uh, so it used to be the picture and then a short description, and then you'd scroll down for more information. Um, now it's just all like standard information at the top and the product overview is down below. Most of it, if not all of it, was uh, duplicated content anyways. Uh, so we just thought this was a little bit cleaner looking, a little bit easier to use, so. Oh, you did go through and get those all marked as web. Oh yeah, I you thought didn't. I thought I told you to let me know what you wanted, and I would do it in bulk, and then I you didn't did. see anything done. Uh, but I sent you back the list. Oh, you did? Yes. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get it. Did you do all of them? I did all of them. I was just like, uh, all of them's all of them's better than nothing. Okay. So, because uh, uh, there there was a few that I was looking at because we did, they're not updating inventory. Danger. Without it, so I was like, uh, inventory needs to be updated on these. So. Okay, so I got a coupon code putting it into the chat right now. Um, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have fun with the the new things we can do with coupon codes. Okay, but, hold on. Um, Let me get a chat prepared so I can type in what it's gonna be worth. What? Did I close it? Yes, I did. Live streams. All right. First, the coupon code is Austin33122, today's date. Okay. Uh, it'll be good until uh, Monday at 5 o'clock Central Time. And we've got $5 off $50 order, $10 or $10 off $100 order, $20 off $200 order, $50 off $300 order, or $75 off $500 order. 75 off 500. Yeah. What are you typing to? What? Do you want me to just send it to you? No, I'm typing. I've already typed it. Okay. All right. Austin 33, 122. Good until Monday at 5 p.m. 5 off 50, 10 off 100, 20 off 200, uh, 50 off 300. 75 off 300. 75 off 300. No, 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 no. Sorry. Yes. Well, Aha. reading the wrong thing. 50 off 300. 75 off 75 500. off 500. Cool. I did a whole dyslexic thing right there. All right. I am going to draw a winner for last month's competition, giveaway, whatever you want to say. Um, this winner doesn't have to be here for the monthly giveaways. We never do it where you're going to have to be here. Uh, da, 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 da. That is last month was March. And as soon as I do this, we'll talk about what the upcoming giveaway is. All right, so the winner of the Walton's 12-inch Pro Vacuum Sealer and all the assorted goodies is... Do you have a spot to keep notes on the winners? Uh, no, but I will make some. This, I don't need one. Because it's a separate giveaway. Okay. Did, just... you, did you just make one in one note? No, oh, okay. I can't hear. Um, if I start giving anything away, I just need to know. Yep. Uh, we, winner is from Chicago, Illinois, and it is uh, Michael Taylor. So, Michael, if you're here, let us know. If not, no worries. We'll get in touch with you, and we'll get that shipped out ASAP. Uh, da -da -da -da, live streams. You just did it? Yeah, I put okay. one as today's date. Why wouldn't you call it the new website? Because... Did you call look it... Look it up by the day's date. Did you call it 3-? Oh, it all came through eventually. Okay. 
So congratulations, Michael. Uh, it's an awesome little unit. You should really enjoy it. I wonder if Brett is watching. He's technically on vacation right now, but there's a good chance he's probably working still. Can I do anything to make him nervous today? Nervous is better than mad, I guess. I, I just I just told somebody in the last like couple of days the story story about Brett when he, he when he's watching us and we're giving away stuff he starts getting nervous and he's like why are you giving stuff away so like giving away this and that and then he comes and gets on uh -huh. a, a live stream and he's like yeah let's give this away let's give that away he's like I get it now he it's did just so much fun better but he did speaking of winners let's draw another winner for um how about for a leather apron. How do we feel about that? How do we feel if about you do can we like do that? It, you, you can do it. That's fine. Uh, I will still have to draw a winner at some point for one of those. Yeah, it's, but it's, I don't think it's, you will. Uh, Jeff McCauley. Jeff, let us know if you're here. Um, if you did, you won one of our Meat Chistics leather aprons. I will go get one of those. And Oh, did, it, did I tell you we bought a mannequin um, torso? for shirts and aprons and stuff um i saw it back there yeah kurt came by while i was sitting there one time and uh as he was walking by he looks back at me and he's like they used me for the mannequin <laughs> <laughs> like no 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 Ugh. colton has worn this no i said he has to borrow the mannequin oh okay do so, the, do the new ones have one pocket or two pocket up top two pockets did it go? Did it start at two, go to one, and then back to two? Two, one, two. <sighs> it's what happened. I, I can't remember what happened, but you were not involved. You or I were not involved in the reorder the last time. Um, I talked to purchasing about it, so I'm pretty sure it's it'll be back to a big one in the end. Uh, but it's a leather apron. Uh, it's got Meatistics stamped up top and Walton's stamped down low. Um, I know one of our commercial guys uses some sort of I want to say mink oil, even though I know that's wrong. Maybe mink oil, something like that. Um, and like works the leather with it. And then it makes it basically like stain resistant. Um, but this is the first apron we got. Um, I wear it when it's not hot out. Uh, when it's warm in here, I prefer our cloth apron with the word cloud on it because it is significantly lighter doesn't get make me sweat as much uh what was jeff's, last name? jeff's last name was uh macaulay yeah, he's here. cool congratulations jeff um i leave uh our live streams on for my dogs uh well for one of my dogs the other dog doesn't care at all but uh riggins chews holes in my doors when i leave and unless well he chews them no matter what pretty much but it keeps him calmer when he can hear my voice. So I was having like the deer processing live stream on and I never watched it obviously. And I'm on that side of the table dumping the 50 pound meat mixer and my back like all around the W is just drenched in sweat. I'm like, oh, that's a great look. Good, good. Uh, leather apron. And then this Sunday, I came in, um, Josh, our retail store manager, hadn't really had a chance to make anything, and he'd been kind of bugging me about it. So I was like, I can do it Sunday. That's the only day I can do it. So we came in, and we were doing it uh, in here. We were getting playing around with some of the new stuff, the new retail stuff that will be coming. Um, and your dad walked in, and he's like, you know, yada, yada, yada. And after he left, I'm like, I told Austin that I was gonna be in here. Cause your dad was like surprised that we were here. Um, and then it kind of hit me, I'm like, oh no, I'm not the most important thing in their life. They probably don't tell each other like what I'm doing. No. Uh, they have their own things going on. I, yeah, I don't tell Brett stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff I don't tell Brett because it's just, there's no need to Why? go back and forth unless it's something, yeah, sorry, but something Im important. <laughs> Which you could be important, but you being here and making product on a Sunday. Uh, we got someone, uh, Evan, asking about um, if we have something for dual stuffing uh, patties. The only thing I could think of is like a rapid forming patty attachment. But if he was looking to make breakfast size sausage, 
is that the one one diameter? We looked at uh, like slider inserts. We've had people look at making them with 3D printers. We've looked at making them out of uh, I can't remember the material, a soft plastic. There, it's just we 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 can't figure it out at this yeah. point. Um, well, if you want giant size ones, we if totally you want have. really big yeah. breakfast patties, you can use the rapid forming pa uh, the quick patty maker. Um, or if you're a commercial customer, uh, there are Patiomatic uh, makes a large variety of different types of patty makers. Um, those are definitely commercial pieces of equipment, so they are going to cost a pretty penny, um, but they're pretty Wait, awesome. I've seen how much a pretty penny actually goes for. No, and I don't want to talk lot, about that. So. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I found, so I am going to talk about it. I found a penny that was badly misstamped, like had no mint date, was pushed way up on the penny. Like there was a good solid quarter, maybe eighth of an inch between the bottom of penny and where like the, the bottom of the design started. So I'm on a meeting with big Com or with who is hosting our, our website now. And they were getting in touch with support. So there was nothing to do. Like, I'm just sitting there doing nothing. So I start looking up how much this penny is worth. And one of the things says $40,000. So I start getting super excited. All of a sudden, I hear Rachel from, she sits across the, the way from me, goes, hey, John, are you meaning to share your screen while you're doing this? And I'm like, oh, God, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so that had been eating at me, and I didn't have any time to to look into it. So I finally found this service where you can just like take pictures of it and they'll estimate it. I paid more money for that than the penny is actually <laughs> worth. <laughs> but at least I know. I, all, I had it all planned too. I was going to sell the penny, buy a 1985 Ford Bronco. And then when people asked me how much I paid for it, I was going to say a penny. It was going to be like the oh daddest joke of all time. <laughs> I was so excited for all this. Oh, Are the cloth God. aprons made the same size specs as leather aprons? That's a good question. I would say no. Um, I would say the, the cloth ones are, are fairly smaller. I'm going to go get them both. So uh, Chris was asking on here. Um, that's a Mike Rush from 511 Tactical. No, that feels more expensive. Oh. Uh, you can get them. Oh yeah, the I would assume the ones from Pheasant Fest. They're I don't I don't think they were like name brand anything, right, but right. Uh, I love five five eleven tactical bags. I got that one a few years ago. It's like a little messenger bag for those people who can't see it, but uh, laptop like this size wouldn't fit in there. So then I got another one, but uh, I got a backpack, and when I got the backpack from them, I ended up getting like. Normally they're like they were like 130 to 150 dollar backpacks, but I got a coupon, a discount, and they could all they were all stackable. Like my worst nightmare <laughs> when it comes to like stuff on our website. It's like no, but I got like I got like 130 to 150 dollar backpack for un under 19 dollars. I just had discount after discount after discount. It was amazing. That is insane. Uh, that's more than I paid, for, or that's less than I paid for mine. No. And mine certainly isn't that nice. So, I mean, in some ways, I, this seems like a weird thing to be shocked at, but I am shocked. The cloth apron is actually wider than the leather apron by a decent amount. I would say by a total of probably about six inches. Which is on like both how sides. It fits in the back tightness. Okay. Is it just just shorter? Uh, well, we're about to find out. You've got that one yep. lined up for me. Okay. Let's see how well I can. Hide this uh, behind my back. <laughs> so I, I, I started saying before I got uh, sidetracked while well, John's tying stuff on. Uh, Chris on here was asking if uh, uh, we could get a discount on that coupon code I gave out, Austin33122, for $150 off if you're buying $1,000 or more. So I went ahead and added that. So if you spend $1,000, uh, you, you can get uh, $150 off then. Nice. So how's that feel? I, I mean, I love the fit of this one. I think it's super comfortable. Um, Good amount of slack in the yeah, back. Yeah, it's not. Nothing too I made crazy. a pretty bow. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I want some comments on so that. So now you get to model the leather one. Leather one. one. See how that one feels. It's like, oh, no, he can't get it undone. He's well, I keep guessing okay. which wrong on which can, string to pull. Can you, like, walk the runway and, like... Oh, yeah. You don't strike want to. Strike <laughs> I'll vogue like crazy. 
That was right, a New right. York. <laughs> Were you in right club kick? Were you in right said Fred or something? You're the third <laughs> member in right said. Right said Fred. <laughs> I'm too sexy for my shit. Okay, and then let's cue it up on one. There we go. See what's unique so about that one? Yeah, has just a a clasp, and then you, if you want it to hug sn snugly, um, you can adjust that. I generally let it hang pretty loose because it keeps me a little bit cooler. Um, Great for thermometers when it's a single one. Good for a beer or a soda, whatever you want to drink. Um, you put so many s sodas in there. So many sodas. <laughs> Keep yourself nice and hydrated. Uh, but this does offer a little bit of protection that that won't. Um, I never know how much to say while Austin is here. <laughs> I have hit this uh, with a knife before, like a slip. Um, and it is leather. It's fairly thick le leather, especially if you get it on one of the pockets. Um, it definitely does offer some protection. Now, that's not necessarily what it's designed for. It's not like a protective apron, like a hex armor. Yeah. Um, but it definitely does add some protection. Oh, yeah. I mean, think about what there's other things you use leather as like a protection. Yeah. Devi I don't, sure. Not device. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But like, like leather gloves. Uh, leather gloves. Yep. Uh uh, cowboy wearing chaps. Oh, I gotta get a um, pair. Of... I mean, it's it's literally a second skin, except instead of being like it's your own human skin, skin, it's someone else's that's been dried and even. It's not tough, somebody else's. Tough it's not up someone more. else's buffalo something bill. Something else. It's something else. Something else's. God, hey, wait. animals are people too. We're getting <sighs> Walton's chaps, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> We're definitely not. <laughs> That's definitely not happening. I don't know. I, it sounds like a fun idea. All right, I'm willing to model anything else we need, so just okay, just call on me. <laughs> uh, Frank says he bought the leather one, and the waist is very tight. He wears a 36 waist pant. Hmm. He must. He, I'm going to say that you need to loosen it up, yeah. Frank, because uh, you should you should be able to uh, make that fit a lot bigger than. Uh, got just a 36 inch I waist. Wear a 34. And I pose. Yeah. Wait, I, I'm go higher. I'm, <laughs> I can't go higher. That was very rude. Just tell me like, to go higher. I can't. I'm saying that that's going to fit a 46 inch waist. Yeah. I mean, that comes almost all the way around again. So, yeah. And you, you still have some to let out there, too. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. So just adjust this down. Ryan says he does think you're just getting fat. There is that for sure. Which is accurate. I am getting fat. Um, J. Michael Kaminsky is saying that it fits 50 inch. So yep, There you go. J. Michael Kaminsky is the guy who got me uh, the obliterator. Oh, hey. Huh? I kind of. I, I love I, that thing. I just feel it's like so a fun. calling to hold it now that you, you said go something. Ahead. Have you seen? Like, I'm on. I get Dow Strong's. I su subscribe to their email list. Just because it's awesome to watch the weapons of war they come out with and pretend are for butchering. It's like, oh, take this katana and slice roast beef with it. Wait, like, do no. they, they sell katanas? Uh, yes. Oh. They don't call them katanas, but they are katanas. I'm going to have to put one on like my birthday or Christmas list and see if I can convince my wife to get it. I don't think, I don't think she will. that expensive. <laughs> uh, ben H. says, I look like Daniel Day-Lewis from Gangs of New York. That's the, the nicest thing anyone's ever <laughs> I'll said. I'll take to it. Anybody I either. will take that. Who is this under my blade? I'd rather be Daniel Day Lewis from uh, There Will Be Blood. I yeah. drink your milkshake. Have you ever cut anything with oh, this? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, my good Lord. Um, so when we first got this, I had to be convinced that it was not a good idea to put my finger in a hex armor glove and chop it. Yeah, you would. So I put a carrot in it. And it chopped right through the glove. Like, literally took the end right Through off. the glove? 100% through the glove. Nice. So this thing is not joking around. It is quite serious. So if you like weird things like this, just dalstrong.com, D-A-L, strong.com, and sign up for their email list. It's fun to look at. <laughs> what? 
Uh, Drew, I actually weigh 240 pounds, but today I, I identify as only weighing 150. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice bow. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I like the design of the leather ones better. Back in my youth, I pulled green oak lumber off the chain for a flooring print. This one brings back. So that, Jeff, who is a winner, congratulations, that sounds like a good old school job. Like, what did you do? Oh, I pulled or green lumber. Like, that's not easy. Do you know who, uh, what BlackRock is? The company BlackRock? Yeah. So yeah. the CEO just came out and was like, everybody in this generation that's had everything available and handed to, well, not handed to them, but everything available at the grocery store, they've never had to sacrifice, like, better buckle up. So we've been talking about it for a good solid year and a half now, like food, sh food shortages. But now I feel like everybody's talking about it. And that makes me feel like it's going to be worse than even we thought it was going to be. Um, I have a very large amount of food. Um, I actually talked to my neighbor about it the other day because he was nervous. I was like, listen, we love you. Like, we've got you. Like, you're not going to starve. We've Listen, got more than when enough. When the apocalypse happens for, for the first three weeks, Come to my you're house. fine with us. Come to my house. After that, um, you're on your own. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I, I don't know, guys. I, I know we get, like, 40% of our fertilizer from Russia, and they're banning imports of it. So, and Canada, I think, is even higher percentage than that. So it's going to be a weird grow season this year. Yeah, they were what, a big wheat exporter or something odd. I can't well, that's remember. Ukraine. Yeah, Ukraine or big, something. Yeah. yeah. So, who knows? Who can believe it? What news source did you get that from? They John? just released the tuna knife today. It's a 17 inch blade. <laughs> it's called the tuna. T yeah, yeah, it's for probably processing like raw big tuna, giant, like the yeah. yeah, the huge tuna. Chef and tuna slicer. Have you ever had swordfish? What's that taste like in comparison to their uh, well-known? More oh, yeah. of a regular meaty flavor, like less fishy. Hmm. But I think a lot of that depends on how it's prepared. Sure, exactly. But yeah. That is amazing. That that tuna knife, that is it's not a knife. No, I know. It's, it's a, a sword. sword. It, they've gone completely ridiculous. That's amazing. They've decided that they're just going to make weapons of war. Does anybody actually use these for what they're intended? I don't think so. Is it one I of those really sites don't. where like none of the prices is on it? You have to call to get. No, no. Uh, oh, it, well, now it's three hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah, they're for not cheap. Sure, but they're awesome. I mean, at some point, and this probably will shock you, but at some point, I'm not going to work here anymore. It might be retirement age or whatever, but this comes with me, and then that is a statement uh, well, piece well, at my uh, house. Well, uh, this was given to me. Not Walton's. No, that's a... J. Michael Kaminsky, back me up. This it was sent to me. Doesn't matter. Not to Walton. Legally, still <laughs> yeah, belongs, yeah. Still belongs to... It says it's actually Walton, so... Trust me, that's <laughs> leaving with me. Um, you can have it as a retirement gift, and I won't give you what else you would have got <laughs> as a retirement gift. The only thing is I kind of wish... There's no reason for it. It would add zero functionality, but if this point up here was sharpened... <laughs> so it became a stabbing weapon, too. How many times has that thing got you? Like, cut me? Yeah. Zero. I've never because cut myself with this. that would be a catastrophe. That would be a bad one. <laughs> that would be a bad one. Oh, yeah. There, that, that will not cut you. It's impossible. It will cauterize at the same time. What do you mean? It will amputate. Yeah, it will take something <laughs> off. It won't just cut. So It will amputate. When we went up to uh, Pheasant Fest, um, I did wild game cooking demonstrations on all three of the days. Just before we went up there, I cut the tip of my thumb off uh, with a double-handed cheese knife as I was cutting up snack sticks. I had, wow. I had a large cut on this knuckle from my dog. I had torn off most of the skin on this knuckle from trying to put something on our shipping line and just not getting it up high enough. Um, and then I had this on my hand again for my dog. So I just looked like, a, I don't know. A bad butcher or something? I don't know. I may have received complaints from people within your department that uh, had things to say about how difficult it was to work with you because when you were on 
uh, in a picture or on camera or just generally there. It, it was hard to not be distracted by all the cuts on your hands. Yes, it was bad. But I did make the joke about the man with the blood on his hands. So I thought it was funny at least. All right, I want to draw something else. What do you guys want? Tell us in the chat what you want me to draw a winner for. Let's put a $70 limit yeah. on it ish 70 ish leather apron or less one of the leather le aprons it's like 99 oh is it yeah okay. we we we, we lowered the price because we initially when we were buying those um i don't know the guy probably I mean, thought it was like exactly a one off when I mean, we we got them i want to say we pay like 15 percent less for them now than we were okay so because originally we were uh charging like 119 or 129 19, something yeah. like that but yeah we've gotten the price down enough that cool. well i mean the guy probably on the first order was like oh they're just gonna buy this one time and then once we reordered probably mm -hmm. uh 22 mixer is no gift card john scissor hands mixer those are all way outside the the price um seasonings and knives that that could be good tenderizer um I could do a, we could do a tenderizer. I mean, that's outside the price range, but. How many, let me make sure how many we have. I want to say one of those we have, we have a lot of Yeah, those. no, like the, not the tenderizer attachment, but the tenderizer. Quick yeah, pad. we got a lot of those. We no. give away one of those. Quick patty, artisan apron, suction cup feet. Oh. No. Oh, maybe. Echo one, Echo six Fletch says the big ass knife and that's not happening. Stuff, maybe, maybe we should. Eggs make up a few choices of something so like to get like three or four and then let's give them away let people have their pick because joe bob gets picked and he's like he well i don't want this. the tenderizer okay. i'd rather have a knife something like that okay um so the options for the winner will be um the walton's tenderizer which is the thing um can't, I want to give away the knife I like, but they're still too hard to get. Um, we should have more knives soon. We finally yeah. have a new supplier for our own Walton's knives. I'm still getting the emails from the contact us form. I need to change that. Two bags of seasoning. Sh sure. Um the pretty penny no that's mine stuffer eggs that's too small well i mean we could do one of them as the stuffer eggs and two bags of seasoning and beef jerky we just do a gift card are they do you have them working uh, oh yeah kind of i mean yes they work if there's a gift card i just have to generate it i just have to go in the back you can't do it through the ui and generate one okay um so w whenever we're done with this, I'll have to generate one. And okay. When we send out the emails, we'll, uh, yeah, it, 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 it'll take two minutes to generate one. Tenderizer, $75 gift card, or two bags of jerky, a bag of season, or a bag of, sorry, two bags of seasoning, of like if you want jerky seasoning, sausage seasoning, whatever, stuffer flusher eggs, and um, jerky. Does that sound fair? Those three? Can everybody pick the same thing or do they all have to, like, you get what's left? Meh, whatever. Yeah, and pick whatever you want from those things. I'm going to go get another energy drink. I'll be right back. Uh, Andy Mike's asking any idea on the reward knives for me just exposed. I know you guys are having a hard time getting them. Patrick, do you know anything different there? I haven't oh, heard anything different, but I didn't know there was a hard time getting them, so okay. I wasn't even in that loop. I would assume that we shouldn't have so many that it's going to be that big of a problem. Um, but we'll we can get an update more from John when he comes back here. I know we've gotten a couple just over the months, uh, like when we first started the rewards. I think those that were already there got them, and I think they they look good. I know John uses it as much as he can, besides the obliterator. And that other one that looks like a home defense weapon on the <laughs> magnet back there, but he seems to like it. Oh, 
We should we should start selling John branded tourniquets. Mm, that'd be funny. Oh, let's what do, uh, do an ad for it. The cookies. Uh, my wife did. Good. Yeah, they're amazing. They're really, really good. That's took, like my wife level. Took okay. took first place in the cooking competition. Dude, really? I'll be back in a second. At home. She didn't cook them when it won, but uh, yeah. she took the recipe oh. from the person that did. No, those are really good. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, Cheryl Deitch. Uh, no one listening may may not know, but uh, Cheryl Deitch is somebody I don't know. I've known for a long time. Uh, goes to the same church I do. Worked at the uh, the high school I went to. Um, she's an amazing cook. Makes everything fantastic. Her cookies. How would anyone know her? Is she like on TV shows if, or something? No. Oh, if somebody okay. was in Wichita, because uh, we have gotcha. a, we have a number of people gotcha, watching gotcha. Wichita. Maybe somebody knows her. I don't know. She's probably not going to yell at me for giving her name out. I thought you were saying that was who won the first of the three. I had no idea what, who you meant by Cheryl Dyke. Sorry. Cookies. Stick with cookies. They were really good. I forgot really to say really something good. when I walked in. I just set everything down and then yeah. forgot. Uh, they had all tried them in there already. Because I was like, are these from Pizza Hut? These are amazing. <laughs> like, no. All right. The meat cleaver is not up for... Uh, in fact, it's going away. No. How much are those normally? You can't even look at it. It's off camera. Um, I don't know. I think it was like a hundred and something, hundred and ninety nine maybe. All right, so here it is. It's a tenderizer. It's a seventy five dollar gift card. It is two bags of seasoning of whatever you want. Um, the stuffer flusher eggs, jerky. And I said something else that I can't remember, and something else. Um, and a surprise something. And a surprise. Or a patty maker. So, there you go. Uh, yeah, uh, from 120 to 199 so. That's not bad. No, not too bad. All right, you draw winners or my draw winners? Uh, I'll draw one. Okay. I do want everyone to know... Um, that this is going so much better than my fears of what it was going to be. I assumed we were going to be up here troubleshooting people's issues for the last or for the next few hours. Um, other than having to maybe like kind of help you with password resets, I haven't had any issues. So if you are on the website, and you do see any problems, if you have any questions, please let us know. Because this ability to get that feedback from you as soon as we launch is pretty valuable. So if you're having questions, if you're having problems, absolutely let us know. Okay, our first winner, you got to be here to win, uh, Daryl Foster. Uh, Jim wants 10 pounds of mountain lion meat, but Ooh. I don't think we can do that. No. David, how's it going? How much does a mountain lion weigh? I think a big one's like 190-ish pounds. Um, I didn't think they were that big. Are they really? They can be, yeah. Like a big male, a big tom. I, I pictured them... Because you're... Yeah, being... Well, you're thinking of like the scrawny ones that like chase people. Like a oh. big mountain lion doesn't really come after people goes after elk and deer i was thinking like it's a little bigger than a bobcat type oh of good thing. lord no no these no. things are large <laughs> okay <laughs> okay wow no, they're slightly larger than a bobcat no i was thinking like 100 pounds would be like a big one mm. no these things no, yeah no. these I things think, are like, huge the biggest is around like 220 i think i could be wrong on that if we're talking about great white sharks that is my ballywick uh, i will tell you what the largest ever confirmed is I saw a video so. one the other day where it went under these people, and you just see like more so the shadow of it. Mm. It was so big, the dorsal fin. It's not good. Even, yeah. So it was bigger than it even appeared. Yeah, male mountain lions weigh up to two hundred twenty pounds. Two hundred twenty. Same. Two hundred pounds. Crazy. Tomcats are real. Yep. Um, but I haven't seen Daryl. You're all congratulating him, but I haven't seen him be here yet. Be here, Daryl. Uh, Jeff says, I've seen no issues on the website. I've been watching and commenting from it mostly. Okay, that's awesome. 180, 190. 
Okay, cool. Jim Schuler says, uh, have tried multiple times to get a password reset email. No, no luck. Okay. Uh, I can do it through. Uh, Jim, hopefully you've entered the giveaway. If you haven't, um, let me know in the chat and then go enter it. Uh, I can use that to find your email address because we don't want to post that in chat, I'm sure. Um, and then I'll, I'll see what I can do from the back end. It's taking a while to search. It's not part of our website, but what we use for uh, the giveaways. Um, what else do we want to talk about in the meantime? What do we have coming up? We're going to BHA Missoula. Uh, if, uh, if we can still get plane tickets. Well, no, or we drive. Driving through that, you will realize be it's awesome. a four-day drive. It's two days there, two day days drive. back. It two days not. there, two days back. You've never driven long distance with me. I go the entire way. I don't stop. No, no, I once no, no, drove. No, no. From, it, it's a, it's a like a twenty-one hour drive. Yeah, I once drove from Dallas, Texas, to Albany, New York, twenty-four and a half hours, only stopping for gas and to pee. You, you've, <laughs> you've. You you forgot like the key word in there that you said, once. Once. Yeah, I could still do that. You are For not sure. as young as you used to be. All right, Jim, I've got your email address. Um, it's at the at blah 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 kingdom dot com. So I'm gonna go through see if I can find you. Okay, we don't have any customer. Oh, we got to buy plane tickets. <laughs> Is it getting worse? Yeah, they're up to a thousand bucks each wow. night. That's bad. Honestly, it's still. Why don't we just hire probably, someone to drive us then the whole? Way. It's still probably cheaper, cheaper than driving. No, it's not. We have to pay for two hotel rooms. No, we don't. We go straight shot. It's eighteen hours. Sleep it's not even that long. Sleep we hit the, the road at four o'clock in the morning, and we're there by ten o'clock at night. That would require waking up at four in the morning no. and going to bed at ten o'clock at night, both of which are outside of my <laughs> awake time. <laughs> Not if you're leaving at four, you probably gotta wake up at like two thirty. This is true. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're hitting the road by then. Yeah, I ten by ten. Okay. Yeah, Google says it's twenty and a half hours. And that could slow down because we gotta go through Denver or around Denver still. Uh, and then we're going to be driving through the mountains, which still in May, it could be snowing up there. Like we could slow down through, through some of the passes up there. It's a 20, 20 hour drive minimum. I don't know. I don't know. Have you guys been using celery juice powder? I've been seeing great results from the small packs you have on your site. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't do much with celery juice powder. Um, but yeah, the, the small retail size bags certainly make it a lot easier. When I worked in customer service, we used to have a 0 .007 something, like an incredibly small amount. And then they got away with it or did away with that. And the next size up was 500 or 50 pounds, five pounds, something like that. And it went from like costing $19 for that smallest amount up to, I think it was like three or $400 for the $5 or five pound bag. That stuff is insanely expensive. All right, Jim, I have looked through all of the customers we have with your last name, and we don't have anything in there. What's the possibility of a customer not have getting been imported from the old one? Uh, there's a chance, okay. to be honest. I don't remember when I went through that process what happened. And I also didn't import people from the last week. So if it was like a brand new customer. Okay. John, where are we at with reward knives? Oh, guys, I have not looked at that in a while. Um, I will, though, now that we're past this. There'll be a lot of things that I can 
So your 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 story about the celery juice powder, twenty four ninety nine for one of the small packets celery juice powder we we sell. Uh, you can buy it in bulk. Um, a bulk case uh, costs two thousand seven hundred sixty four dollars. Is that five five pound bags or is it fifty pounds? Uh, it's, it's, it's like forty five pounds. Jeez. No, I don't want to do it through group. Name, there we go. Oh, and speaking of snow, did anyone in in or around the Wichita area know that it was supposed to snow this morning? No. I woke up and I saw... I woke up early enough. There was just like a dusting of snow. I'm like, oh, great. I went downstairs, uh, started working on stuff. And then I I come upstairs at like 845, um, getting ready to go. I stayed at home to work this morning because I had the doctor's appointment with my kids I needed to be at. Um, Came upstairs at 845 after I'd been working downstairs for a while. And I look out and like you can barely see the grass. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, That's... no, it, it snowed considerably more than I thought it was supposed to, but at the same time... Melted um, really fast, but... Yeah, it didn't ever stick to the... It's been a weird weather week. Uh, I was at a baseball game the other day that never got off the ground because a uh, giant storm came barreling in, and I, I had kind of an idea about that one because I'll get... My, my nervous mother will text me, and I can tell just when something's about to happen, but the snow one, I didn't even get that text, dude, so... All right, so I found um, Jim's uh, account on our old system. It has stuff in there from September, August, November. Did you find him on the new one? No, he's not in the new one. Oh. Uh, I just have him make a new one. Uh, I'll still, if if I can tie up his email address, his order history will still come across. Use the same email address, Jim, um, and we'll port in your previous uh, email. Oh, sorry, your previous uh, history. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I mean, it's unfortunately it's technology. Uh, Dylan just emailed me something. I test one, two, three, four, and did the same thing every time. takes you back to the sign-in page that's all bogus yeah it works fine it does work fine yeah dylan just responded clarifying oh okay i don't know somebody didn't relay something right did he respond to all of us or just you because the last one i have from him is 128 Okay. Yeah, he might have another response in there. I don't know. He responded multiple times. But okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. I'm torn on being... Uh, so one of the nice features of the website is uh, something called in-stock notify. Um, so when a product is out of stock you can now put your email address in and as soon as we get stock of that it will send you an email the problem is i currently have it set up where every time somebody asks to be set up i get emailed and i don't think i want that initially it'll be a good thing to make sure it's working but i'll want to get off it pretty quick i think Who won the mixer? Nobody yet. Do you want to draw it? I don't care. I don't care. I just I, that's the second time I've seen somebody ask. Uh, no preference on when when we draw it. Um, state with the second most orders. Were you ever going to answer? Oh everybody? yeah yeah yeah. Um, hold on a second. I was waiting for this so i didn't have to create the coupon twice uh, uh, uh. what was i about to do suction cup feet we're going by number of orders or dollars um 
we went by uh, dollars for retail web. Retail web, not yes. okay. I was very clear in the what we'll call it in the post. Yeah, because technically, there's the updated stats. Look at your date range. Yeah, it's for this year. I don't think we saw a Daryl comment. No, no Daryl. Are we looking at like all of last year then? Yeah, or? I believe. Hold on. I'll have to go back to the thing and find it. That's weird. All right. So now, if you go to waltonsinc.com slash sales, waltons.sales. Oh, God, this is going to take me a long time to get used to. waltons.com slash sales or slash walton sales. Um, it will now say Walton's dual speed stuffer instead of dual grind stuffer, which is an impossibility. How'd that happen? It's the same thing I sent you in an email before. I don't and then know. I sent it back to you proving yeah, that I was right. Well, yeah, but I don't know what you were looking at. The same thing. I know, but you had I don't know what your criteria was. I don't know. I, bu I, I know what... I saw from you was correct, but what was it correct for? What time frame? What criteria was in there? Because when I look at it, I'm seeing something else. Unless you went by number of orders overall, because that would change things. But Indy Mike is uh, excited to say that the Supreme Pizza with the added pepperoni and mozzarella was a huge hit. So Awesome. Yeah, that is. Oh. I always recommend that one. Mm -hmm. Go to. He says he's gonna add pizza sauce and toast them later. So. Yep, best one we ever made was with all four cheeses, and we used the marinara sauce on top of it. it was Such absolutely a top notch, flavorful, big, awesome bite. It's yeah, kids. Love yeah, it was it. actually a little. Uh, Josh, our new retail uh, manager, the guy who was in here, we were making sausage on Sunday, said that his favorite is. Darn, I can't remember, but it wasn't Supreme Pizza. And I got fairly, like, okay. almost, like, offended. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but ha have you had it with pepperoni? And he's like, yeah, I remember seeing you grind up the pepperoni. I was like, all right. I, I love guess. how, like, your your protest, you went, like, he told me his favorite, but I'm not going to remember it. So. You're right, yeah. <laughs> Instantly just dropped that information. Did I'm, not need it. I'm drawing a new winner because I don't see anything from Daryl Foster. So I'm going to leave him in there, but I wrote in the notes, I wrote that he didn't respond just okay. in case we have a mishap. Uh, I'm going to say this guy, I don't know, maybe it's his first initial, uh, G Mouser, Mouser, M-O-U-S-E-R, G Mouser. If you are here, let us know in the chat, uh, you'll get your choice between, uh, a Walton's tenderizer, $75 gift card, or, uh, some seasoning, stuffer flusher eggs, uh, some, some jerky and a surprise gift Yet to be determined by John. Oh, Daryl just commented. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Did he really? I swear to God. Says Daryl Foster. Oh, okay. To the best of my Great. knowledge, that has only happened one time before. That's why I didn't invalidate the pick. Yep, good call. <laughs> so. And what ha that was the first time we gave away like stuff we'd used in here. And it was for the VP215. Nobody responded. I drew a new winner. As I was drawing the new winner, the lady responded. Do you remember that? Yeah. I am curious. Like, when did you hear it, Daryl? Are you now just hearing your name for the oh, first time? Oh, he might just be, be, yeah. be behind. True. Yeah, that's and Daryl, also, you need to let us know then. Do you want the tenderizer, $75 gift card, or the seasoning, stuff for flusher eggs, jerky, and surprise from John? I wonder. See, but now what if he doesn't respond to that? What's his default? <laughs> I will email him. Gift card, probably. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Of course that has state. Was someone going to win something for the state contest? They're going to get 10% uh, off. Okay. So what is the second best retail state so far of 2022? And this was done on... February, get back there. 
Daryl, the options are a... a t- February 17th. So from the beginning of the year till February 17th. It's a tenderizer you can attach to a grinder? No, right? it's no. the standalone tenderizer. Oh, it's a standalone tenderizer, so it has a uh, motor on the side of it. A 75... No, no motor. <laughs> it's a, it's hand, a hand, sorry, it's a hand crank. How about the, you guys just tell Daryl what he can win? <laughs> the the other tenderizer is yeah, it's it attaches to a grinder and it's electric, but um, not everybody has. Uh, no, no, that's grinder. not it either. So, uh, stand up tenderizer with a hand crank thing on the side. Um, normal retail on that's like one hundred and forty nine. I want to say. Um, seventy-five dollar gift card or two bags of seasoning, uh, whatever seasonings you want, you get to pick whatever you want. Uh, set us the stuffer flusher eggs, um, some of the last batch of jerky John has made, and a surprise something else from John because he doesn't remember what else he was going to include in it. So, um, oh, and retail web orders. So I'll see what he says. Uh, we have questions about the We the People shirt. I'm assuming they mean the the BHA one potentially. Nope. No, that's a whole different one. Nope. Yeah, that is a different one. That's fine, but Kansas is. And then I still think we're still waiting on a cool design for that one, guys. <laughs> huh. That's interesting. Because didn't you say in there that Kansas, besides Kansas, uh huh, yeah, because Kansas isn't number one. Oh, hey, we have a... No, 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 we're going to find a way in which I'm technically right here. Wait. Ah, that's probably what I did. Because I'm stupid. I don't know. Yeah, Maybe. must have, have been. We have someone reporting a typo on the site. Where is it? It says it is at the... When I look at the meat tenderizer on the site, the web page tab says meta tenderizer. So that's in the meta information, isn't it? It's got to be. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, so funny. That the we'll... tenderizer, I'll take yeah. care of that. No, this is definitely what I did. Total orders. I think it's funny that it's in the meta information. Oh, that's right. Yet the word actually Just is stupid. meta. Yeah, so that's probably wow. pu- that's pulling like local retail POS sales, which then yes. I'll probably just post up. a 10% off and free shipping coupon to that order so anybody Dude, can use it. It's the most meta thing ever. That meta is in the title? Meta is in the title. You have to go to the meta information and it's it's so I don't know. Patrick likes that. My one a head's lot. gonna explode. Not only like that word was oh. cool before Zuckerberg tried stealing yes, it. Yes, definitely. That was, that was a such a scream uh, reference. Anyways, tenderizer. Did uh, he decide what he wanted? Sorry, I was. Uh, he wants tenderizer. Tenderizer. Sweet. Okay, cool. I'll email you though to get your um, uh, shipping address and stuff. Now that currently is only a tenderizer. We do have uh, jerky slicer blades on the way for it though. So I'm going to the product page from our website, edit product information, and I'm right into the back end. God, I love that. Wait, was it on the tenderizer that it said meta? Didn't they say it was the tenderizer? Yeah. Yeah. At the on the tab at the top. Is that not true? Did he troll it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Mine's in a different spot. <laughs> I have my tabs on the side. Oh, interesting. I used to do that. You I'm have like, more width on your screen yeah. than you need. But your height is a premium. So mm, when I was like twelve, and then I grew up. And <laughs> <laughs> There's also more room for tabs on the left right, too. Meta is out of that title. Okay, so a long time ago, <laughs> there was this video game, God of War. What was the last one? The big four, I, or whatever. It was. I'm an Xbox it was the most guy. recent God of War, and it came out. And the guy who programmed it, like oversaw everything, was reading reviews live, and he <laughs> like started crying. I remember thinking like kind of trapped between like isn't that kind of funny and what a sissy <gasps> but like it is unbelievably relieving to not be just drowning in problems right now so i think i get obviously what he did was way harder than what i did i'm not comparing <laughs> those two <laughs> things at all at all uh, uh, does I mean a little bit? Andy Mike wants to know if our high temp chi has an extra fee or if it's fine to ship uh, by itself. I believe uh, we, right now it's fine. Yeah, we it's ship that fine. everywhere during it stays the nice and cold, right? We do that with um, well, during the summer months, uh, we make some changes to it where we don't ship it if it's going to sit in a warehouse over the weekend. Um, and we increase shipping fees on it. Well, we, not really, we take away the um, the option that prevents it from. 
it has to go UPS all the way to you. They can't yeah. hand it off to USPS. We chart, we do upcharge five dollars. There you go. Uh, because the extra cost of the extra box, the extra uh, foam cooler, the extra ice packs, all of that, it actually ends up costing us more than more than five dollars. Sure. But um, we're just trying to recoup some of the cost in that. Yep. So, um, but that is not taking place yet. That will take place fairly soon here, though. I uh, can't believe it's April. I mean, it's not, but I can't believe it's April already. Once the like nightly temperatures aren't consistently cold, yeah, um, I'll I'll change that. So I bought. Sorry to bring my dogs up again, but I bought uh, this bucket that auto fills for my dogs, and I just like have a hose attached to it and a timer. And this morning it's snowing like crazy out. <laughs> it's so nasty out. They don't want to go out, and I'm standing in my mud room type of thing and i hear the hose kick on i'm like oh that's gonna be probably weird. shouldn't have that going right now it was like 20 something degrees last night i'm like that's gonna freeze oh no but yeah no fine. it's fine yeah it's fine all right so where are we on giveaways um we drew uh we we got daryl to respond he said he was talking with the customer he apologized we Fair understand enough. we understand but the other guy g moser he has not responded. Okay. Um, While they do that, um, I'm going to talk about uh, this month's giveaway. Patrick, do you have B-roll of that ready at all? I just kind of throw it up when you're ever you're talking about it. But okay. Yeah. I'm going to start talking about it. We'll go for it. Uh, so this month, uh, we are going to give away a Walton's chambered vacuum sealer. As I'm planning the mixer B-roll. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, nah, I didn't have any for the Oh, vacuum, okay. That would have yeah. been great. No. Uh, we'll give away the mixer after this, um, but we're going to give away the uh, Walton's chambered vacuum sealer. So this is the type of sealer that uses smooth bags. Um, so the bags are a lot less expensive. It also, for a couple reasons, gives you a better vacuum. Number one, because the bag is smooth, it doesn't need that texture. So it can form to your product more fully. Um, also, it does a better job pumping all of the air out of the chamber. When you're using the chamber list bags, um, you know, you're putting the opening of the bag into a chamber, that is creating a vacuum in there and sucking up most of the air. Um, and it, just full disclosure, that's what I use at home. I use a, a chamberless one. Um, but all things being equal, the chambered machines do a better job. They last generally longer, uh, bags less expensive. In fact, depending on how much you vacuum seal, you can make up the cost difference between a chamberless machine and a chambered machine fairly quickly. I, we've done the math a bunch of times before. Last time we did it, I'm pretty sure if you bought a thousand eight by twelve vacuum bags for a chambered sealer, it was like seventy two dollars. If you bought a thousand chamber or thousand eight by twelve bags for a chamberless, it was like two hundred and seventy five. So depending on how often you vacuum seal, you can make that money up fairly quickly, and it gives you a, a better um, long-term seal. I was surprised. Uh, one of my friends, guy who built my house, his wife's sister works in the uh, meat industry. She actually works for a cattle company, or is it a cattle company, or is it? A, it's got to be a processing company. She calls around to high-end restaurants all around the country, like offering them the premium cuts. Um, and she sends them stuff occasionally. And I, I don't think people understand how long a cut of meat that is vacuum sealed and put in a deep freezer will last. Because they were talking about like, oh, yeah, we're going to have to start giving it away. First of all, if you're going to give it away, give it to me. I will absolutely take it. But second of all, that stuff's going to be good for a couple of years in your deep freeze. You know, there's no reason. It, will it lose a little bit of that? Tenderness, yes, it could, um, but it's still going to be perfectly acceptable and a lot better than eating lentils. So, uh, Salmon Smoker has a question about his skinless wieners. He says um, they have a bite of a piece of rubber. He says he usually makes them and they're, and they're really well, but this last time they the texture was very rubbery. Okay. What did he do wrong? Uh, so if they're skinless, I'm assuming he's using the cellulose casings. Is he? Yeah. Okay. Um, too long? And too no. I, got up to temp too quick? 
too much water would be okay. Definitely part like can be uh, if you added too much water that can have that effect on it. Um, Rubbery though, it's like you take a bite and it like it pools still and it doesn't want to attach. Just you know, I'm assuming. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know what he's talking about because I've had hot dogs that are like that before. Rubbery, it, it's like over mixing. Yeah, but this is gonna sound weird. You know, like the the super bounce balls you had as a kid. I used yeah. to always bite those. Yeah, Don't know sure. why, and I yeah. bite them in half. Yeah, me, so t- I, me too. <laughs> oh, okay, I awesome. Swear to, I swear to God, I don't Sweet. know why, <laughs> but uh, I have that taste and texture. <laughs> yes, I know exactly. Like, and that's Cheated what I'm up. thinking about when he says that. Um, could be over mixing, but it's really hard for a home processor to over mix. It can be done, but it's just not common. Um, if you have like a commercial mixer, then yeah, you definitely could have over mixed. And a lot of guys do add water. Yeah. For, you know, if I had to guess, my my bet would be too much water, um, or a problem in your smoke schedule. But that would be, you would almost have to have had too much humidity through the entire smoke schedule for that to happen, which is unlikely. Um, unless you're a commercial guy and then that changes everything. But I'm assuming you're a home processing guy. All right, I'm gonna draw a winner. Not for your stuff. I'm gonna draw a winner for the 50 pound meat mixer. Um, it's a real emotional day for me. <laughs> Launch this new website, it's, like, it's just like having a baby, I assume. Same exact thing. Um, and I'm giving away a child. I have spent <laughs> more time with that than certainly most people do with their children. I've gotten far more use out of it than most people get out of their children, for sure. Um, I don't know. They can do chores, though. Does Leo do chores yet? Oh, no. His, his only chore is picking up his toys. He's, I mean, he just turned three. Um, so no he, job either? You, you can't expect Freeloader. you can't expect him to sweep the floor, clean the bathroom. Mow the lawn. What's what really really makes me angry is him not being able to clean up when he goes to the bathroom and is not really paying attention and is around. <laughs> just going and then, everywhere. It goes everywhere, <laughs> and it's like I'm on my hands and knees cleaning it up, and he, he's just like, "Sorry, Dad." Oh, <laughs> like, see what can you do there? Well, part of me is like, "Oh, he's sorry," and the other part of me is like, "You're not sorry. <laughs> he did that on purpose." <laughs> That's the hard, but, like, telling them, like, you can't just say sorry and everything's okay. It's like there has to be an intent to it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I, I have a feeling if I had a kid, they would be terribly Did spoiled. we not turn off collect? It's still coming through. No, I did. 1-800. Uh, let me draw this winner real quick. I will look at that. Patrick, you pay attention for the winner if he responds. What's his name? Uh, I'm about to tell you. Tell this me is the winner now. for the 50-pound meat mixer, that one back there. Um, it is Brandon Peralta. 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 That's an easy name to say. I don't know why I struggled with that so much. Look, Peralta. Yeah. Okay. I am on. Uh, I will get Rachel on it from one end, and I will look at it as well. All right, emailed Rachel, and I'll work on it as well. How many orders came through with it? Do you know? Um, I don't know. Okay. I've yeah, yeah, seen right. one for sure, I think, two. And it was recent? Mm-hmm. Okay. One that was just imported two minutes ago. It's turned off. They can't use it. Maybe we haven't imported for... We just imported, but we haven't imported for a very long time. Oh, yeah. That was from, yeah, an earlier order. Don't worry about it. We're good. Okay. All right, good. Yeah, I just looked at the number. That was, yeah, dozens of orders Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I got a guy saying... He goes, I'm here, but his name's not Brandon. Uh, what's his name? 
I'd say it, but I feel like it's like a Rumpelstiltskin type name that I would summon something. Is <laughs> <laughs> Bar- Bartimus Saint Crow? Oh, I like that name, Bartimus Saint Crow. There's not. Is that a real name? That's a good name. Wait, Bar- is that the name from uh, uh, In the Shadows? Not In the Shadows. Um, what was it? Was it used to be an old uh, Bartimaeus? Bart. It used to be an old like soap opera, and then they redid it as a movie with Johnny Depp. I don't know. In the dark. Somebody help me out here. Johnny Depp's a vampire, comes back, lives with his family. He used to be a real powerful family, and they've fallen. Bartimus. I don't know. We have a Brandon Peralta here. All right. SSL errors. That's what I was getting earlier today. Uh, what are you looking at, Will Pierce? Um, the ER SSL. E- I responded to one person about that, so I can talk about it real quick. So yeah, that is technically not us. I know it looks bad. Um, our email provider um, that sends out all our transactional un uh, unattended auto response emails, everything off meet logistics, everything yeah. for order confirmation, shipping confirmations. Um, they've been having some issues in and out today. Um, and sometimes it goes fine and sometimes it's not. So if people are still getting that, they're obviously still having an issue. So we're going to have to look into that. More. That is okay. So I got it twice on my Gmail account or sorry, on my Walton's account. So I was like, all right, it's a something we're blocking because we block everything. Ridiculous. Um, so I tried to my Gmail account and went right through. I figured it was something on our end. Like, no, we're not going to let you open this. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, that is an issue um, with our, I don't say the name of the company, but transactional emails. Um, so we use a different email server for that than we would for like sending out the um, monthly sales emails because those emails are a lot more expensive. Um, so Brandon, Brandon Peralta is here. Awesome. Um, do He's, you happen to have a brother or a cousin named Jake? He says... Jake Peralta. He got the name... Uh, Barnabas book, Collins. From a book he read when he was younger. All right, I like that. All right, so multiple people. Uh, who's the first one to come up with Barnabas Collins? Dark Shadows. All right, so no, this dark first person to say Dark Shadow and the first person to say Barnabas Collins are going to get something special. Well, that's toughy because they might. No, no, no. I can find it easily. All right, first person to say Dark Shadows was John Belvedere. That's easy. Dark Shadows, Dark Shadows. And no, it was uh, Stacy Peralta, not Steve Peralta, as far as they're asking a '70s skateboarder's name. No, I well, I nothing to do with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I said it, Jake Peralta because that's uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yeah, then someone said, "Is Steve Peralta the '70s?" But no, it's actually Stacy. Yeah, it's a little trivial. A lot of nothing that has anything to do with me. I like it. <laughs> okay, so wait, I had who was the first one to say Barnabas Collins? Oh, now they're all saying it. So yeah, it's luck. too late. It's too late. All right, Ronald Dore. Ronald Dore and John Belvedere. So the two of you keep an eye out for um, on the emails you use to enter this giveaway, and I'll, I'll reach out. I almost feel like, I wonder if those cookies would ship. You have so many cookies you want to give away? You're going to give away my cookies? They're pretty good. They are good. They'd probably ship fine. Probably, right? As long as you... They'd probably actually get destroyed. He wants them out of the up. office that bad. Maybe. Like, yeah, I've been doing... like My wife has been gone all week, which was perfect because I didn't have to worry about getting home. Um, but I usually eat terribly while she's away. I eat like super clean this week so i feel like i'm on a good track and then you show up with pizza with stuffed crust cookies 
wings, all sorts of stuff just to sabotage me. Which, I think you saw me doing well and we're like, <laughs> he can't resist pizza. He's weak. I am going to complain for a hot second. I used to order a lot of pizza at pizza. Um, but Uh-oh, about that? two years ago, I moved outside of town and I'm no longer in Pizza Hut's delivery area, which is horrible. Very hard. Very hard to live outside Pizza Hut's delivery zone. But um, so I haven't hardly bought Pizza Pizza. When I bought pizza for in pizza, there, pizza. he can afford delivery as well. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it, like pizza used to be like they had their ten dollar any pizza deal. Yeah. And then like okay, it was a dollar more for stuffed crust, yeah. and it was two, and so still, I mean, you could get any pizza you wanted, even when they started raising prices for like fifteen bucks or less. But in my my prime pizza days of Pizza Hut Pizza, it was ten to fifteen dollars. Those pizzas were like twenty four dollars a pop. It's ridiculous. That is insane. Uh, I don't understand why has why have pizza you prices get gone up so Poplar's much. pizza for less than that. Yeah, my wife today, I, t- I told her I was getting pizza, and she's like, you should get Poplar's. I'm like, I don't have time. Yeah, no, that's too far uh, away. And yeah. Too far away. Um, you make a better pizza than those, though. So like living out there, your pizza is better than that. Oh, no, 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 no. Pizza Hut pizza is very good. Your pizza is better than that. No. My pizza is better than that. No. For sh- not even remotely close. That was a stuffed crust pepperoni. Well, hold on. Maybe this, you is don't like beat the, that. maybe this is like the Bud Light versus an IPA or, argument. It's so Pizza Hut's re- the best because it's so consistent and mm. how many orders they actually have to do. Whereas, like, you just focus on the one pie at your yeah. house. Of course, it's going to taste amazing. great. Yeah. But yeah. I'm with you. True. Little, little, Fair Caesar, little Caesars is the best. Um, so no, bar, bar bass with a 50 pound mixer hook up to any 22 grinder. It will not. Um, we initially thought they would, uh, because it's a six blind, three quarter inch hookup on pretty much all the grinders. One or two of them now use a square, um, a square drive. What, why can't I gear gear is the wrong word. What is the six blind? It is a. It's, it's not a socket. It's the opposite of a socket. Oh, whatever the opposite of a socket is. I mean, it's, I'd socket. say it's a drive. Oppa socket. It's, I mean, We're it's still up. kind of a gear, though. It's connected to the gears. It's a, a socket. Gear that you put a socket on? <laughs> it makes it, I don't know. He said that. A socket. Well, it makes so it opposite. <laughs> it's whatever goes into the socket. Um, some of them are using square now. So even if you have the three quarter inch six spline, which is what most of them use. There's differences in the size of the housing around where that hooks up to, and there's differences in where the um, notch is. Uh, I Honestly, we never considered that when we were making ours. I don't know if they do or if it's just different manufacturers do different things. Um, but no, uh, most of them will only work with the brand of grinder, mixer being the same. Drive gear, that's good, drive gear. Torx, I don't, hex drive, sprocket. Now is the time on sprocket when we dance. I knew, I knew you were in right, said Fred. Are those guys German? Or Pat Hoskinson guys? came up with both Dark Shadows and Barnabas Collins. Ronald says, literally the first time I've won anything. Awesome, congratulations. Winning things feels awesome. And I can attest to this because I've won numerous guns in the last year. And if I didn't spend the money to enter to win those, I could have bought way more guns. But I like these guns more than I like my other guns because I won them. That they is feel true. more special. There's a lot of guns that I have in my safe that I would not have in my safe if I would have bought them. Yep. But because of how I got them, they mean more than yes. anything else I would have bought. Uh, like, can't you? I have one gun. It's a Henry Golden Boy octagonal bang, or barrel lever action 22 magnum with quail forever stamped on the or like you know whatever carved into the the wood um like you can't buy that gun you have to win that gun I just, unless you buy it from me for a ridiculous upcharge thinking about it i have never bought a long gun never and how many do you have <laughs> a lot. Oh, <laughs> I've so I've gorgeous. never bought a rifle. I've never bought a shotgun. So um, the shotgun that I use all the time is one. It's a uh, Benel, or, uh, Browning Maxis. Uh, won that from the Pass It On Outdoor Mentors Gun a Week drawing. I've won a couple others from Pass It On. Um, 
of one one from quail forever that was um like the special engraved and stuff on the side that it's like it's the only it minus the ones that they make for the quail forever events it's the only ones you can get like that um I have another shotgun I used when I was younger, but I got that. That was the first gun that was really mine. Got that as a gift from my parents and grandparents. Uh, Sorry. And then I have some rifles, but all my rifles came from my from, from my grandpa. your grandfather. Yeah. Um, two things. One, I still want your grandfather's metal detector so we can try and find my wedding ring in the side yard. Two, um, the invisible one says, I want a divorce. <laughs> He said what? I won a divorce. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that makes me laugh. Uh, J. Michael Kaminsky, Dow Strong had 180 of the tuna knives sold out already, and he didn't make the cut. I've seen his Dow Strong, or actually his knife collection. I think a good amount of them are Dow Strong. He has a ridiculous knife collection. When I say ridiculous, I mean ridiculous. Um, and then ND Mike says, is it normal for the end of the auger spline to get as warm as it does on the 22 grinder? I don't know. Um, I guess for that, we'd have to know, like, how warm is it getting? Uh, how long are you grinding for? And does the 22 have a... Sometimes I imagine working with me is a lot like uh, uh, Jeff Goldblum in. <laughs> hold on, follow me through. Follow me through here. Uh, Jurassic Park, where they're in the thing or in the the truck, and he's explaining chaos theory, and they just get up and walk out. Like I, the number of times where I start explaining something, and then something else enters my head, and I'm <laughs> like, "Oh, this should be good for it," and I just leave yeah. to go get that thing. I don't explain what I'm doing. Just like, oh, I'm gonna go get that. I never understood the Jeff Goldblum love in the first place. I don't see it. Um, yeah, unpopular opinion. I'll, Very unpopular opinion. I just, he's just, eh, eh, you know, well, you know, whatever. Wow. I mean, it's not like. Well, why is he good? What is? What was he like? He was the fly, and then he was in. He sat and did nothing in Jurassic Park, and then he's great in that. He's amazing as the Grandmaster in Thor Ragnarok. Uh, no, but like, what med? Leading up to him being Jeff Goldblum, what did he do? He's been in like hundreds of movies. Transylvania Six Five Thousand. That movie is amazing. I wish I could watch it. Um, I think it's on Netflix now. No, uh, the, that's the DVD I got from you. That was the only one empty. Oh. <laughs> um, All right, let's go for it. Make sure that you're uh, that you still have and your uh, little bushing or bearing or whatever that it, it's not a bearing uh, is seated correctly. Um, and then, yeah, it would how much you're using it at a time. Um, also, what temperature the meat is going through it is going to play a little bit of a role. Not a much. Not a much. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, real quick, did yeah, Brandon did respond. Good. Okay, I'm gonna draw. Did we ever draw the third for the choose your own adventure? Choose your own adventure. No. A G Mauser never responded. G Mauser right? never responded, so sorry. So let's redraw that. <laughs> and then I'll draw uh jerky and some seasoning. I I answered one random phone call a week ago. Now I'm just getting like mm -hmm. area That's code. That's why you never do that. Area code if, uh, yeah, never. Complete accident, but I know I miss some calls sometimes, but I don't care. I got a Tennessee, a New York, and like an Arkansas today. 
or someone's quantum leaping to different same person trying to get trying in touch to with you. Trying to get a hold of me, yeah. Or it's me from a different realm. <laughs> I love how that's funny, but like Jeff Goldblum being famous is like very normal to you. Well, it's not like <laughs> like lots of people hate Tom Hanks. Sure. But nobody hates <laughs> nobody <laughs> hates Jeff Goldblum. No. I'm no, that's not even the question. I'm wondering like why is he even famous in the first place? Has he even starred in a movie? I'm not listening to you. Anymore, so. <laughs> so I got I got two winners, Mickey Mitchell and Ben Herbst. You'll be winner oh, number two ben. and three. Nice. If you guys can respond in the chat, um, we will get your prize picked out for you. Sure. Or let them pick out their prize. Oh, yeah, they can pick. You guys can pick out. Um, prize. So then Ben is a Mechistics user. While we're waiting for them to respond, um, I have drawn a winner for some jerky and some seasonings, and that is uh, John Matson. John, let us know you're here. Ben is here. Sweet. It's the motor shaft that gets hot. So we're talking about the, not the auger. Are we talking about the auger or are we talking about where the auger hooks into the... He's probably talking about the auger where it hooks, where it hooks into in. the motor. Okay, so yeah. the back end of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. John M. says I'm here. That's not the... Oh, yeah, that, that is John. All right, sweet. Congratulations, John. You joined just in time to win. So we're still looking for Mickey Mitchell. Brian says, if you over-tighten the ring that holds the auger in place, it'll get hot. That would make sense. I talked to somebody. So you're putting too much back pressure on it? Yeah. I mean, I, I, how tight, though? Like, most people just hand-tighten it. I think you'd be surprised how tight people do it. I was talking, I think it was when Tex was in here talking about how tight to to make it and so we had a grinder here and i'm like i loosened it and i'm like okay this is where the the ring is going to that's where i tighten it to and i was like feel that feel where it goes to because you don't tight you don't try to tighten it down yeah. you just go till it gets snug yeah, one as of, soon as you turn it on it will tighten up yes one of the worst things are we used to sell um the wrenches like the grinder head wrench that's for people, getting them I know. off people were <laughs> putting them on with that it's like no no no. opposite comes off so i'm still uh, of researching Spencer. some of the the password reset problems so if someone's still having an issue um um i want to see if you can try something for me in the in the either the password reset email or the the link you get sent to you log to in. log in if you are getting the ssl error error when you click it copy try copying and pasting the link that's actually like listed out below the just the the hyperlink there um, and try doing that and see if it gets you the same thing because i think that may take us around the basically the the redirect that gets put in there from our email provider where it's r.email.waltons.com it should take them direct, I Say think, that again? maybe. The, the the link that's fully posted out in there. Put, like Copy it. Yeah, it'll say, like, please click here to uh, log in or reset your password. Don't click the button or the link that says click here. Look underneath that for the actual URL fully listed out. Copy and paste that and try that. If that, does, if that doesn't work, let me know. Okay, John House is not even getting an email. That helps. Oh, well, I know what your problem is.
great news for John House. There, we have two John Houses in our system. Um, I'm going to check both these email addresses here and see what we got. No, uh, Rachel, if you're watching, no. They were wanting us to put back in um, the carousels on the bottom of the page so that they could troubleshoot it to see why it's doing it. I told them no. Isn't that what Sandbox is for? Yeah, sure. Do it there. Who's who's troubleshooting? Uh, Big Commerce is wanting. Okay. I emailed Rachel. I told them to tell them no. You could try to put it on just a fake phony page somewhere if it, see if it does the same thing. That's a fair point. Um, so John John House, um, I am not seeing any activity under under either John House we have in our system. Um, so may be two different things. One, um, you are a third John House, um, or two, um, maybe the email that you're using is different than what we have set up. So instead of trying to for, use the forgot reset password thing, try to just create an account and see if it'll let you create an account. Because I'm gonna. I'm going to take a guess and say that for whatever reason, we don't have you in the system right now um, with whatever email address you're signing up under. So try to just create an account and we'll see if that lets you through. Oh, that's stupid. Uh, how do I get to that? Rachel, if you're watching, I'm creating something. I'm going to send it to you in a minute. Uh, what are some other features on the website that we haven't discussed yet? Um, going forward, uh, we are going to install an app that does some better stuff with search. Um, so the search will, will be improved. Uh, right now, it's the base. We had one installed last night, um, but it just it was not working the way that they said it would. One of the favorite, one of my favorite things is the way that we display um, inventory on the shopping cart page. Um, oh, no, no more shopping lists. Oh, and no more shopping no lists. No more shopping lists. Um, I really, really love the shopping list idea, but it's just way too complicated. I couldn't tell if you, you sounded so sarcastic during that. I really, really loved the shopping list idea. <laughs> I was sure you were joking. Incredibly easy. And I, I love the concept of it. Let me put it that way. Um, good looking. So on the shopping cart page, you get a, you get a little thumbnail of, of what you're buying, the name of it, um, the SKU. Most people don't care about the SKU. Um, I figure some people would if you're ordering out of your catalog um, or if you're one of our commercial customers, you're probably more, uh, more likely to care about what SKU's there. Um, but then... If, if it is in stock and ready to ship, it'll say all items in stock. If it's going to be back ordered, it will tell you how many are going to be back ordered. If you bought 50 of something and we had 40 in stock, it will tell you that 10 are being back ordered. Um, and then I don't remember how it displays on there versus the product page, um, which we did do this before, but just a difference in how it's displayed but showing when we expect the next set of items to come in if it's back ordered and we have some coming and we have a date that we think is accurate um, those dates that we show will say expecting more by this date those dates aren't necessarily a guarantee it's the best information we have from our vendor supplier the manufacturer wherever we're getting something in from um, as to when we should have it so um, just how people can see what is on their order available for same day shipment or what's going to be back ordered and when you're when you're going to expect to get it that whole process i think works a lot easier i think it's going to clear up a lot of questions for people so like the number of questions i had to answer in the last month on when will we have um sure jail back in just the ability for you guys to get an email will save everybody a ton of time yeah in stock notify 
So, yeah, there's no way for us to do that. I was going to say, if there was a way to show one of our web pages, I'm sure there is. I cannot think of it right now. Can Patrick do it from can his you side? Do it? Yeah. I could get on the web and just show okay. them the side yeah. if you want. Yeah, yeah do that. I, I'm taking some vacation coming up real soon, by the way. Oh, and by the way, um, I'm as long as you're cool with it, I have an idea. You you and I had talked about like taking time off doing something. Um, um, so I, I assume you'll be okay with this, but can I invite me and Leo over to fish with you someday? Oh, good Lord, yes. Because I figure... Uh, I don't Any know, day. Some some afternoon in the next few weeks, uh, we'll just take off. Hundred percent. I'll go get him and go fish. He's been begging to go fishing too, so uh, he would get a real kick out of that. My only concern was, is the fishing still okay? It's I've not caught a single fish this year. That's not good. All right. So, the new Waltons dot com is up. What would you like me to peruse? Right uh, go to Ring Bologna Unit. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I could find it on the first try. Oh, no. Oh, shit, it's like you don't know Ring and Bologna. Oh, the way we list bulk pricing, too. Yep. I really like that. That is a very good one. It's right here. So hey. when you search, you don't have to click on anything. And ingredients. <laughs> ingredients. For Being the first time. Default in so many years <laughs> is in a good spot and it's complete. I, here, here's one. All right here. We're not gonna list our cost on products for four months on the <laughs> webpage. So I don't think anyone ever caught this, at least I hope no one did. It was one of our customer service agents or somebody who caught it. Um, but if you scroll down on our old webpage, the cost, like what we paid for a decent <laughs> amount of items was showing down there. Not cool. Not good. <laughs> another glitch in the old system that, that is a, another good reason of why we switched. It's just buggy. No, buggy, the biggest buggy, one buggy. was, so we're, uh, this is part of my blog post, which I'll post after we get out of here. Um, but we had been talking about possibly moving the server that it, was, that it was hosted on so we would have control of it. So I had just one that Henry Golden Boy rifle. I had had a few drinks in me, um, and then you texted me saying, hey, we're moving. I think we can be done by, like, I you put some ridiculous soon date January. on it. Yeah, ridiculous. Um, but uh, I just remember, like, going from the incredibly high of winning this gun, having a great time, <laughs> to reading that, and I was like, Ew. That's what you get for celebrating Surely he life. can't yeah. be meaning what I think he means. Um, but that really what drove your decision on that was during our busiest time of the year, we went down four times in three days. Mm -hmm. So can't happen. So now that I'm looking at the product page too, um, other things that are new dimensions on products. Some people won't care about that. Some, some people will. will, but that's, that's a, another big thing yep. that we weren't able to put that in. Yep. Like we could have done it manually, but okay. we're not, we're not, yeah, we're not that. doing it manually it's too much. Um, and then for those people that are local, um, on every product page, it shows how many are in stock in the local store here. Yep. That way you know before you come to the store um, if, it's, if it's there. Now, um, something that isn't available currently for local people um, is in-store pickup. Um, we, we went with the, probably one of the most popular shipping providers. It's like a, an app that you attach to the base. Um, great service. Uh, it's called Shipper HQ. Very easy to use, very intuitive. Everything made sense. Rachel and I were, were able to set up most of our shipping rules within a couple of days, um, which when you compare that to what we just came from is ridiculous. Um, but it couldn't do, no matter what we did or they did, it couldn't do one function that we absolutely need. We tried all these workarounds. The guys at Shipper HQ were great, very good to work with. Um, but so we are we're having another company build one that's not as easy to use, but is way more customizable in the background. Uh, so pick up in store, um, pick up at warehouse, both of those will be available. And for distributors, which 
probably nobody on here is a distributor, um, but we do work with a few of them. Um, there will be a collect option for those people as well. So. All right, so I'm on Ring Baloney Unit. What do we want oh, to check Oh, jeez. We got sidetracked there. That felt like a long time ago. Okay, so there is a big button in the middle of all the information on the right that says notify me. Yep. So what that will do, you put your email address in there, and as soon as that comes back in stock, that is gonna go ahead and send you an email letting you know that it's back in stock so you can come immediately and order it. You know what else was awesome? After, because uh, this week we've been trying to like break this site, yeah. so to speak. So um, I made, uh, I had a half day Monday, made up a full cart of stuff, forgot to check out, of course, because I'm not gonna spend $600 on seasoning. Yeah. <laughs> As I say that, his mind is jarred. Yep. But uh, yeah, I got a very pleasant, uh, would you like to check out email, which was, I thought, very appropriately timed. And, oh, okay. And good reminder. He did it already. Did you do this? Oh, probably when I first set it up back no. in like December, January, then, I might have looked at it. But Okay. Then either Rachel or I fixed it because it was like, those were not the right times. Oh, okay. It was much faster than that, and I was getting annoyed. But now it's an hour, a day, and two days, and then we just figure you didn't forget it. You meant to leave it in there. The featured categories photos aren't showing at the bottom of the home page. Are you seeing that, or is that just unique to me? Featured categories photos aren't showing? Yeah. Or just on the home page. Still click. I'll be right back. <laughs> so... I think I know what that is. So seeing, seeing a couple more comments about lost order history. Um, and talked about it a couple times, but uh, talk about it again here. So anybody that missed it um, can can get an idea on, on what we're doing. So moving to this platform, um, our goal was basically to get what we had, at least get what we had before available in this so we could get rid of a lot of the bugs, a lot of the stability issues, um, have a just a better base solid platform. Um, we did not do a few things that um, we are still working on and still going to do. We wanted to get out, get uh, the website out sooner than later um, so that uh, we weren't having to deal with the, the old website and the issues that were uh, prevalent there. So one of those things that we did not do immediately um, was transfer over order history. Um, we will have order history transferred over. Um, I would say that it will take at most a week. By some by, sometime this next week, we will have order history imported. Um, we will go back and pull everything in from our last website over the last nine to twelve months. Here, we will go back and pull everything from the website before that, and the website before that. We will pull everything we have in history, probably back. I don't know, five to seven years. Probably no need for anything further out than that. But um, we will get that order history back in there for you guys because I know I know that's important for a lot of you guys. Um, it's not here day one, but it'll be here within the week. Can you go to the homepage? Scroll down. It's showing on his. It's not the pictures are not showing on Patrick and mine. It is showing on Rachel's control refresh. And for whoever asked hmm. it earlier, we have been running OBS for the last, uh, I'd say, year when we started to really focus on the live streams. Oh, that button is not charging. Did I turn off it? Let's see. Uh, Daryl, no, I believe we have all your information. You are free to, free to go. And yeah, guys, uh, as Ryan said, uh, order histories have not been migrated to the new site yet. If that is... Who's Ryan? Uh, Tex. Oh, yeah. It's just weird that it's on some. It's because I, I went over and Rachel already had it pulled up. She's like, it's showing on mine. A lot of people want us to give away a new hat. Oh, 100% I'll do that. Yeah, we got... I will give away... The later. number one seller. I would... Which one of the hats? What do you think our best seller of those hats are? Just we got two camos up there, cryptic orange, uh, regular. I don't even know. Meat justics orange on the far right, and a woodland. No, the one with the trees. 
Yes, Flyboy no more. Um, if you set up a new account and use the same email, we can port over your old history to your new. Um, John Geringer, Geringer. Who is that Geringer? Baron. That's the little gun thing, right? The guy who made the gun famous said Geringer. Anyways, sorry. Um, I can't change my password because your security certificate isn't current. Okay, so that's the SSL thing. Um, John, we were talking about that earlier. Um, did anyone try it and see if that workaround worked? Um, yeah, one. I got at least one comment back okay. that they said they could copy and paste it. Yeah. So in that email, it has a click a link or copy and paste this email. It seems like it will work if it's a if you copy and paste it into uh, a browser. So we use a company that does transactional emails for us, like the, all the logistics emails, order confirmation, um, abandoned car. What else? Anything that's unattended or automated. There you go. Yeah. Um, and they appear to be having some problems today. Of course, today, of all days. Out of, yeah, out of all the days. Of all days. <laughs> all right, so we've got orange camo, blue with a laugh, uh, digital camo, orange, regular camo, camo with orange, camo tree, Derringer. That must have been what I was thinking. Um, orange camo, camo, camo. Okay. So I guess not as big a surprise to all you guys, but it was shocking to me to learn that the orange camo is uh, by far and away our best-selling hat. Seriously? By far and away. It's not even remotely close. It's like three times as many. So. Patrick, um, <clears throat> Pat, who's our graphics guy, and I sat down a couple of weeks ago, and we were going through like all the Walton's branded stuff. Like, what do we want to change? What do we want to keep? And that one was definitely on my ax list. Like, no, we don't need to do this again. First of all, it was a Brett idea. I didn't even want to do it. Um, but that is our best-selling hat. Brandon, but, Brandon had a question if he needs... Um, if we have all his info, right? If you win something with us, yeah, we're you're good. You're good. You you're can good. Bet. We have. Well, I everything. have everything through Gleam. We email you, and you're good to go. Yeah, right. On. Um, I will also uh, update um, the Meet Justics reward stuff tomorrow, um, so we'll get back on track on that. I do have a monthly reminder. I just ignored it this month because I'm sorry. This was the most important thing. Um, so why would some people be getting an error code when we're setting passwords while others do not? Is it a what email provider they have, or is it just all random? No, I I don't know. I mean, that sounds more like an awesome question than mine. Papa Sop says, just got home and tried it, didn't work, set on secure site, copied and pasted, got the same error. Great. See, but I tried it this morning, and it worked great, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> does – hold on a second. I have an idea. I I will probably do some more digging to figure out exactly how things are going wrong, why, how it's going to get fixed, and then um, we sent we may send out a bulk email to everybody saying, "Hey, um, if you haven't already reset your password, here's how you can do it now. Things are working again." Um, but. As far as I can tell, it's random because I I have seen the error, but then there's been other times that I've gotten through fine without the error. Um, so it's not a device or hardware thing. Um, it has to do with where and how that link is getting routed and redirected from from the email to the email provider. It goes through their their system, then it goes on to wherever it's going and when it goes to them they're having issues so it depends on what they're doing with it have you allowed guest checkout yeah you can do guest checkout okay but earlier i would come to this click that and then it would bring up the like single sign in thing oh asking you to sign in yeah because yeah, if if you have Place you have to have order a before okay. it'll it'll make you yeah or you have to have a user okay yeah so if I do um, John retail try pasting as plain text too if you guys are pasting stuff it's an interesting idea someone said it didn't work as a hyperlink potentially so but I don't know if if they even put it in the field and I, it yeah I have no idea okay that, so. so here's what I'm trying I've got an account that I know I've got an email that I know I have account it with follow me. Uh, I have something in the cart. I'm going through checkout. The first thing is customer. You put your email address in. If I try to click continue as guest, 
it's going to ask me for my password because it knows that I have a retail one. If I send, it's going to be the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Are you having a problem checking out his guest, is what you're saying? No, you can check out his guest, but we want people to be able to set up their passwords so that they have. I have an idea. I'm going to fix this. Yeah, it's funny. My, my Austin sounded pretty confident. My there. biggest problem I had this morning was I put in the wrong email twice. And what's good about that reset email, if you're curious about them, throw in three or four different emails that you use on the regular. It'll, it'll, it'll reset. You'll get a confirmation for the one that you know it is. So, <laughs> How would you... I, I can't copy and paste his plain text in a browser. So would I have to go to a notepad, paste it? Don't, don't. Try and well, what what's your browser? Check edge. Off my, yeah, Edge. I guess it just does say paste, huh? Mm. Well, then I guess it doesn't do that then. I don't remember where to do it. There's a place to go in here and change the email provider. I'm gonna change the email provider, and I don't know where to do it. Jim Bay says he uses his Found Facebook it. account to sign in. Hold on a second. Austin's about to change it. So who are you doing it through, Clavio? Just going to have it go straight through the host. Okay. Um, so we're going to bypass the transactional email provider we use to try to there's get a, past their issue. The, the downside to doing this is there's a stronger likelihood that it's going to get sent to somebody's spam folder because of... There's, there's like three different ways you can like authenticate that this email came from who it's supposed to. Right. And by doing this, we can only use one of those ways Probably. versus I have all three set up through the other one, just better reliability on delivery. Um, so I just did it, changed to be live. So somebody um, that's having the issue and uh, I'm maybe, letting them know. Okay. And uh, John and I'll try it here, but um, do the forgot password or send me a link to log in thing again. And um, it should go through a different route and a different provider now. And hopefully that will fix the issue. I am going to try it myself here. All right. And I let customer service people know. Uh, I don't know if this is interesting or not to people, but we came in Monday and all of our shipping was 100% messed up. And I was actually relieved about that because it made me feel like something went wrong early, gave us plenty of days to, to fix it, plenty of time to fix it, and I felt good about that. I would have preferred that that was the only major issue, not this one, but we talked um, earlier this morning, and this is the one thing that we never even considered being an issue. This went fast too. I got Did it, it already. Through? Yep, I'm looking at the message details. Um, yeah, so a little behind the scene things. Um, the SPF results pass, so that's good. Um, and everything looks good on the back end of the email. Um, I'm in. So I'm gonna say it's we're good to go. So that should hopefully fix it. So like I said, that it, it may end up with sending more of them to people's junk email. So if you request a password or request a link to log in, check your junk email folder. Um, but this should at least alleviate the issue that we're having with our other transactional email provider and the SSL issues that they're running into today. Very annoying. No, or, just that we're having this issue. Um, I'll respond back to the whole customer service. I just did. Oh, you did? Yep. Okay. I just did telling them what we did. Okay. And I've got John, too. Uh, 
Oh, I, I just I'm looking at coupon codes coming through. We just had somebody use uh, Grow Twenty Two. I guess I shouldn't exactly say it, but um, definitely don't <laughs> say it. <laughs> but just made me think while we're while we're on, we should uh, rep some of the places that we do stuff with. Sure. Um, Joey and Holly and their gardening show. Um, if you've ever heard of them, if you're into gardening and canning and stuff like that, um, check them out there i think they're on a number of radio stations kind of up in the north and northeast part of the country yep um, but they also have a podcast um what's it called is it just uh gardening talk with with joey, joey and holly, holly. Yeah, yeah i think it is so real quick story on that this guy's been trying to get us to advertise with him for a lot of a long time um specifically he would email with austin um and we'd always you know it doesn't really fit our niche you know not something we were that interested in doing um but just randomly right like a month after what did everybody cook today blew up there was another post called all things gardening and canning or something like that and that got a ton of traction too so we were talking about that and then this guy emailed in like the same day you know he last time he'd done it was a year ago and we're just like yeah why not let's try it we tried it and it has been a huge success for us i even wrote a big long email to somebody else who is thinking about advertising with him, just being like, Hey, his users listen to what he says. I mean, and I've searched for that coupon to make sure it's not out in like some coupon redeemer type thing. And it's not. So, uh, so other than that, make sure you check out, uh, the flush. Uh, it's a TV show. We do a lot. They also have a podcast. Uh, their host, Travis Frank's great, great little man. Um, Best fisherman in the country. He is a good fisherman. He claims that he had a uh, um, a muskie on that would have shattered the state record and lost it as it was going into the net, which is a heartbreaking thing. Um, somebody broke the state record in Virginia the other day, so I sent him that, and he responded with that story. But great little guy. Great little guy. Um, we're buying him a, a special vest. Um and I joke that it... Did they have the boys small? That it needed to be boys medium. <laughs> Sorry. I'm saying little a lot. He's not that... He, he's not he's that like small. an inch like, shorter than me. He's not that short, is he? No, no. He's like... Yeah, he's like our height. Yeah. He's just slight. He's like you used oh, to be. He's like I he's used like to be. He's like you yeah. used to be. We watched a video of Austin the other day. In fact, you're up on one of the category pages. I can't remember which one it is. But I was like, that looks like an elf. He looks like an elf. <laughs> um... Uh, Nick from Nick's Wild Ride, absolutely great show. That guy does some insane things. I think my favorite one I've seen him do was the hippo in uh, Africa. So there's a hippo that was like terrorized. I'm not, I don't, it's not funny. There was a hippo that was terrorizing <laughs> a village. Um, so he, they flew him in and he killed it. Um, he's also gone, the one, he goes after doll sheep. That is intense. Um, I tend to think that more intense hunts would be like the ones that something's hunting you back, but I think more people die on doll sheep hunts than a, like per, per hunt than anything else. Cause just the terrain is so ridiculously treacherous. Mm, yeah. Um, chief Upland, uh, they are a vest company. They're the ones that we are getting Travis. My, well, I don't even know. Brett met this guy up at Pheasant Fest. Super nice guy. Everybody raves about these hunting vests he makes. So I talked to him. I'm like, hey, could we buy one from you? Have our logo and Travis's name embroidered on it. And then he could wear that. Little cross promotion. He's like, great. We'll make a deal for it. Brett talks to him. He's like, yeah, if you want one too, I'll make a deal. And then all of a sudden it's like, hey, we have these four others we want to order too. I was very clear in my email. I'm like, 100% if we have to pay full price on the other ones, no problem whatsoever. Um, but Chief Upland, they are awesome vests. Really good vest. Uh, Ron Boehm, Boehm, I can't remember how to say his name ever, but he has the Hunting Dog podcast. We advertise on that. That was another great uh, pickup. I don't even remember what got us on that. Somebody recommended him to us. It was Ron Cher, wasn't it? Was it, it Ron Cher? Yeah. yeah. They were like, hey, you might want to check this out. So I got in touch with him, listened to a bunch of his stuff, and he's a great guy. Um, wizard with dogs who else uh passing on outdoor mentors obviously pheasants and quail forever 
BHA. Of course, BHA. That is actually from uh, Victory 2, who does all our customized <laughs> shirts, hats, jackets, cutting boards. Mm-hmm. They do the the knives that we hand out for meat just sticks. Um, anything that has to do with customization uh, comes from them. Are the BHA cutting mats. Technically, I think the some of the sales figures are because we give away those to BHA and how they get recorded. But technically, it's our number one selling customized product right now. Oh, yeah. No, it's definitely because we. Give, <laughs> I gave Kurt like 200 of them, I think. Yeah. So, so the, yeah. <laughs> but still, it's at the top of the list. It is. It is. It's great. Um, yeah. So BHA, if anyone's not, if anyone is a member, um, we're going to be at Rendezvous up in Missoula. Uh, we've got. With our $1,000 plane tickets. <sighs> Or driving. Um, we've got some, like, real comfy chairs. It's all outside. We're bringing uh, uh, some tents. So it's just going to be real low-key. We're going to bring some stuff to give away, uh, sit down and just talk to a bunch of people. Um, if you are interested in it, I highly recommend checking it out. It's a great organization. These guys seem to have a lot of fun, um, all very purpose-driven. Uh, at Pheasant Fest, we were showing some of the guys the seasonings we're doing with the Kansas chapter. Um, and talking about opening that up to, to other chapters. And within like five minutes, we had like eight to 10 BHA guys in our booth just like checking everything out. So they're definitely really good guys. Um, I feel like I don't want to leave anybody out, but I can't think of anything else. All right. Let's look at chat, see if this stuff is starting to work. Did Which we, hat are you giving away? Yeah, I was going to say, do we give away a hat yet? No. Uh, first, let me make we need- sure I wrote something down for John S. Matten. I didn't. What was the last thing we gave away? This for John S. Matten. I don't know. Are we going to be re- reviewing the transcript later? Um, yeah, I'm going to have to. Uh, what's the timestamp? That was probably 10 minutes ago, 240. Which, so... Speaking of giving away things, I didn't think about it for this one, but in the future on live streams, if we're ahead of the game and we pre-plan this, um, we need to set up some coupon codes that we can reuse or do something with. I don't know. And basically hand out those coupon codes for people to to get their stuff. Um, that way we don't have to go through and manually put in the order and send it out. They can just... Log in, put it in, put their own address in, get that item in free shipping. If they want something else, throw something else in with it. That's excellent. Um, then here's, we don't have to do the paperwork. Here's the only downside to that, but that is genius idea, and we absolutely will do that. Non-stock supplies like the jerky. Oh, we could put kind of a hidden item out there that – when it got imported into our system was put in as NSS, come see John. So shipping's going to get anything and everything pulled for it. Really and then they're going to come ask you and say, Hey, what am I, what am I sending? If that's how you want to do it. I mean, I'm all for that I don't for know. sure. Um, but then when we do like hat giveaways like this, um, yeah, just go and we could do just, it yourself. Honestly, we could probably just like throw out a couple and say first one to get it go. All right. So this will be hat of choice. Um, anything up there, these black hats, that orange hat, which is up there. Uh, the only one you can't have is the gray one Patrick wears because those are out. Um, oh, those also, are out? Yeah. We oh. also do, no, we're not getting those. We also do have some of the, um, flex fit camo ones. Uh, the original like fitted Patrick doesn't like me calling those fitted because they're flex fit. I like just bugging you when you say the wrong thing. All right, Quinn White. Quinn, you have won a hat. Let us know you're here. If not, we will go ahead and draw another winner. I want... No idea why I was so far behind on video. Um, All right, good. Steve Winscott finally logged in. Awesome. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate you working on that. Uh, The URL and the reset password still gives me the secure connection because the authenticity... The received data cannot be verified. This is my trying it via mobile, not the last laptop. That was from, I don't know, a couple minutes ago. I'm going to say if that was not, if it wasn't within the last five minutes, do that again because that problem 
Excuse me. That problem should be fixed. What state? What state? What state? What state? What state? So, Neil. Um, Alaska. <laughs> uh, it's Missouri. Um, but I am as opposed. There wait, are wait, two... wait, wait. No, 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 no. What was the date through? I think we did that wrong again. February 17th. 17th. Yeah, it's not Missouri. Am I on the right one? How are we getting different things? I don't think I closed it. Hold on, I still got it. How are we getting different things? What are you guys getting different things on? Did you pick winners or something? Uh-uh. Um, you didn't click the sort. Oh, I was doing, yeah. Oh, you're going by retail number, number of orders. orders. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that makes me feel better. Um, but because, A, it could be interpreted at least two ways. Um, it was either Missouri or Texas, depending on how you did it. I did it on total number of retail orders. Austin did it on total number of dollars. That makes sense, though, because I care about the people and Austin oh. cares about the money. <laughs> so um, I will go ahead and post a coupon code to the what's the second best retail state of 2022 so far. Um, so everybody on that can use it. Although it feels like maybe T. Williams shouldn't be able to because he did go through and list every state as his guest or as his guests. That feels like it's cheating. No, I'm just kidding, obviously. Uh, you two are gonna have to work. Yeah, no, honestly, I'm probably gonna go home and sleep. Um, I've literally, I've just been here or home walking my dogs and then passing out. That's a good question. Did, does anyone remember Mickey Mitchell claiming his prize? Nope. I don't. Nope. Uh, we got... <laughs> and Quinn White hasn't... We got someone saying, Quinn is my brother. He's here. That's a new one. I haven't heard that one before. If you could prove it. Yeah, how how would you go about... Usually, go wake your brother up and tell him to say, I'm here. <laughs> young buck. We'll give him a few more minutes. All right, so that's uh, Bowser. G. Mauser doesn't win anything. Mickey Mitchell doesn't win anything. It's just those two, right? I could probably scroll back up through because John had his photo, so he should be easy to find. Updates on the electric stuffer? Uh, not at the moment, no. Uh, it, 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 it's done. Testing has been done. Orders have been placed. But darn it. There he is, Quinn White. I'm here. Awesome. Quinn, what hat do you want? He gets to pick from what any hat, any hat. on the site. So, yep. yep. Well, let's see. I'm gonna go look at the hats on Walton's site. And see It'd be amazing if he picked a hard hat. <laughs> oh man, be a good twist. Well, let's see. Here's all your hat options. Don't pick the hard hats, obviously, and cold phosphates on there too. So sweet. This one's the best seller. This is the one I rock. And there's the one John likes to wear. So What? 
Hello, this is Bella with the Processing Center. It's Thursday. I just want to remind you that the government offered for insurance programs are expiring soon. And if you're not enrolled in at least some of the program, P-R-O-G-R-A-M-M-E, by the end of the forbearance, you'll start making those payments again. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, I don't think we're giving away a cooler, guys. Um and 100 percent i'll give away a cooler <sighs> no <laughs> and well the jo- with his job too apparently and then um let's see uh they want to know what happened to the about us section oh listen you, you get what you gain on the swings you lose on the roundabouts you have pictures again user submitted pictures that's the one thing i forgot to talk about look over here <laughs> look over here don't pay attention <laughs> to this um i did finally get a uh, picture submitted reviews through Trustbot to work again. So I'm going to post a link to that. Um, now, it's not working flawlessly yet, but it's working really well. Um, we will get About Us back up there for sure, 100%. Uh, probably just an oversight on Austin's part, most likely. Yeah, probably. Most likely. Um, all right, cooler. Drawing a winner for a cooler. Let me look one up. Did Quinn respond? With, don't worry about it, Quinn. I'm going to contact you to get your um, shipping information anyways. You can tell me then. All right. Here is the Walton's 27-quart Tyga Cooler. So this person has to be here. I'm going to give you good... Seven minutes. It is from Wasau, Wisconsin. Probably didn't even come close to that one. It is Jennifer Jager. Is that our new entrance music? No, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Oops. Yes. So Jennifer. Respond, let us know you're here. If not, we will invoke, revoke that win. Now, that probably made your father annoyed. <laughs> oh, jeez. That probably annoyed your dad. I don't even see how many coolers we have left because, uh, honestly, we, ha- we have the coolers in to sell them, but we also figured that most of them we were going to be, yeah. be promos. Uh, yeah, we still got a lot. Someone should go buy a cooler. That'd be killer. I was trying to nice coolers. I was trying to sell one of those and one of the hats at the Pheasant Fest, and I had literally like three nibbles <laughs> combined for for those two items. But everything else was flying off the shelves, though. Apparently. I'm pretty sure that at least a couple people stole. Oh yeah, oh, I'm 100 percent sure yeah. people stole hats. Yeah, that totally backfired on me. I was like, I go, whoa, I need to put them near yeah. the items, and then people no. grabbed them and walked away. Yeah. I I had some people uh, steal stuff from right in front of me, <laughs> like uh, cutting mats and can coolers. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're just they grabbed just, and walked away. As they're walking by, they just like oh, <laughs> go over and grab it and just yeah. walk away. Oh, and what God. are you gonna do? Like, chase them whatever. down and tackle them? No, I had one guy take one and then come back and ask, "Is this is this free on the other one?" And I'm like, "No, it's not." <laughs> Because he couldn't go to church Sunday. Oh, I know it. <laughs> we actually do. What's the question? You can't. Uh, LG. You'd be the worst interview ever. You just start answering stuff. I'm walking yes. Again. <laughs> no, you have to reiterate the question. <laughs> yeah, stickers. What do you got there? Oh, Somebody asked, yeah. Do we have decals? We actually do. We bought these for a purpose that they are not going to work for. And are so they those... clear or white? They're, cl- they're clear. Yeah, I'm once you put 99% them on. I'm percent sure. We could do a test one on one of these. Are the meat gistics ones on a white background then? The meat gistics have always been a clear background. No, these are, no, on these white. are white. Okay. Okay, so these are white. So no decal then. That's a bumper stick. The other I feel like the other ones were, right? I think they were. Okay. Cuz we put one on a chair. Yeah. Perfect. Did it Do you like the white background ones? Uh I prefer clear, but yeah. uh, it, it 
It it's fine. I think he's grabbing. I think the clear one might just be the meat logistics one though. Wait, is that even is that the updated logo? Yes, yes it is. Okay. They're very hard to take apart. Is that the is that one of the Surface tablets you have? Yeah. It, how do you like that? I love it. Um, I've had. I never had one like this small and compact before. I always had like mid range. I went to like a bigger one like that, and because I thought I wanted like ten key, and it got annoying. And I got to the point where I'm like, yeah, I have a like a desk a, a desktop computer at home <laughs> that if I'm doing something, you need something, I got that. And I'm like, when I'm actually Truly mobile, important. I want mobile. Yeah. And these are just sweet they're sweet for actually being truly mobile keyboards yeah. do you find yourself using the touch screen as much as you thought you might um i use it a fair amount not a ton but i'd say a fair bit it's definitely i definitely think it's worth it uh if i if i didn't have a touch screen i'd i'd, I'd be going up and reaching trying to hit the screen nice. and freaking out because it's not working no I'm so just... they're both white they're, neither one of them are technically decals oh those okay yeah well what was i using on the chair the other day uh, the like where it just says waltons.com okay was that different yeah that's not bad um did jennifer jager ever respond i don't see it she's got another two minutes oh, it's too long it's too long if we she doesn't scissors. respond um yeah Oh, don't worry. The show's better that way. If she doesn't respond, I'm going to redraw. And this was for the cooler, correct? That's the bottom of his thing. You're never going to see it. <laughs> right? Or is that not the bottom? Nah. It's not the bottom. That's the right side. It's the right way. Oh, is that your stand? Yeah. Ah, it's got a little kick flip stand. No, unfortunately, John, I think he did it right. I'm watching how he's done it, and it... <laughs> Seems like it is going to work. I love it. John's making fun of laptops. His has rose gold on it and stuff. How's your laptop doing? Oh, how dare you. <laughs> I used to have one. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no. Give away a custom Henry Walton's rifle. No. <laughs> That's a custom John. I'm gonna give her the the extra minute just in case she was back. Oh man, he's yeah, he did it out. Right. I don't even know what it looks like. I'm gonna have to I'm on this side of it. Looks awesome. Upside down. I'm gonna you, have to drop exposure. It. No, you it's, got it. so <laughs> bright over here. Gosh. So here's something funny. My it is now three o'clock where we are. Three o seven. My laptop says it's two o eight, and my watch says it's one ten. I have no idea. This watch was turned off first. I must have like slept. Well, I don't that, check it that often. That shouldn't have anything to do with it. Like, and it's not updating. Like it's been turned on for a while now. That's what it you just should be still about. says it's one ten. Yeah, that was a that little gun is so much fun to shoot because with the octagonal barrel, it is super heavy for a little twenty two, and it's just like, ting. Ching, there's no kick to it. I have that. I have that exact yeah, same gun. I was telling like, you about that. Plink, plink, plink. So, you won that one and the six point five Creedmoor. No, technically I won a uh, ten twenty two breakdown, um, but I had no need of that rifle. Um, so I, the place let me credit it swap for uh, a six point five Creedmoor. Okay, I just find it. Uh, We'll have to see the next time you get or win a gun and or vice versa with Dylan and I. The guns you have gotten, either Dylan or I have, or we have won after you. Well, he won the 6.5 right more after, after you I got did. that one. Yeah. And then you got a gun I already have. So next time one of the, one of the three of us gets a gun, it's going to be one that the other oh, person she, already has. It's family. Yeah. You know? That's how it goes. I'm all right. She's gone. Uh, Neil says your laptop is on Mountain Time and your watch is uh, Pacific. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't even care. He I, goes, right. Yeah. Why are you wearing the watch for? You just want it for heart monitors and, and stuff. sleep. Yeah. Yep. You wear that when you sleep. Yeah. 
that's why you can't go to sleep. No, it doesn't bother me at got all. Got this big hunking wrist nope. thing on your wrist. Nope. What? All right, I am revoking her win, unfortunately, and we are going on. Oh shoot! What's up? Uh, on giveaways for people. Uh, one G Mauser finally responded. So we needed all we can honor his, but we need to know what he wants. But then Ben we said he him. was here, and Ben we never asked Ben what he wanted. So uh, Ben Herbst and G Mauser, let us know if you want the seventy five dollar gift card, the Walton's tenderizer, about one hundred forty nine ninety nine value, um, or two bags of seasonings, anything special. you want. Yeah, the John special stuff for flusher eggs, some jerky from John's last batch, and a surprise gift from John. Is that like the large number one, the Walton's number one? Oh. Should we allow repeats? We've done it in the past, and the chances that he's still here are I'd, not that high. Yeah, I'd, le I'd let it ride, see see if he's still here. Who is it? Daryl or something? Nope. So if he's still here, Terry Crispin won against same guy who won the first thing. Interesting. Uh, Jim, because that's impossible to do. We've done it in the past. It just doesn't work well. And by the way, and people that <laughs> think we could, we sure we could just pick winners, but it's usually for something small like jerky, or if we like your comment or something, we can kind of do that. But for like big winners, it has to be automated otherwise we get into some kind of legal issues so people weird. that think that's like hey i know you're still here and we want to pick you it's it, it goes against the rules um somebody's saying that smart watches are fourteen hundred dollars um sometimes amazon sends them to you for free <laughs> no i think he's here all right so we will ship your what did he win what was the first thing we drew uh we will ship your Jerky and seasoning inside the cooler. So you'll get it all at once. They're pretty awesome coolers. All right. What kind of, like, when we say our favorite uh, seasoning shakers, what do we normally give them? If we have a, a set of Ooh. 12. We need to up update that. Just every year update our favorites. Because firecracker rub needs to be in there. You are obsessed with this firecracker. It's so rug. good. It's I just so put good. it on a wrap the other day. It wasn't bad. I mean, yeah, but it's not. It added flavor. What I'm amazed that salt is so far down the ingredient list, and you like it because I can use so much of it. <laughs> uh, watch that. Not like I was asking Austin this. So I know it's confirmed, but because the way that he was reading the label was like, oh, I never thought like the first ingredient on the label is like what it's per primarily made out of but watch that be incorrect yes and he's, <laughs> he's actually taking quickly poisoning himself four times the amount of salt oh. <laughs> well, I, I i already eat four times the amount of salt i'm supposed to have so, so it's 16 times, yeah. <laughs> but yeah it's but can you does that work for is that uh, uh just like a food safe thing for all most seasonings like if you're like oh i wonder if this is more sweet or salty and you turn around and it says salt above sugar you kind of have all the information you need, or is that just unique to Excalibur seasonings? Uh, no, it's everything. Even even other food products. Go look at a box of cheese. It's off the shelf at the grocery store. Um, the order that the ingredients are in there is primarily the order of predominance that they are in the in the product. You figured I'd be you know younger than thirty when you figure that out for the first time. So that's one of those like aha moments, I guess. Mm-hmm. See if we have firecracker rub in stock. Yeah, it's all in your office, probably. I need probably. to get out of here. Uh, we're a little low. You guys, I understand. I can quit whenever I want. Let's see if I can make a coupon code for something. I maybe should do it for mo more than one shaker, though. Hold on, I'm working on a coupon code. Is that going to be our like Fourth of July seasoning? Weren't we going to do move to a seasoning of the month kind of thing? John, don't you remember that? Uh, we were talking about going back to um, seasoning Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get back to that. We should we do it. Well, I want to like be able to. Numerous like, things ahead of that. Firecracker rub sounds great around 4th of July. Does it? Well, okay. You're biased. It? Whatever. 
Whatever John wants around Fourth of July. It. it tastes like red, white, and blue, and <laughs> smells like gunpowder. <laughs> There's the email oh, right there. Right. Thanks. You're doing my job for me, buddy. <laughs> All right, I'm creating a coupon that will give anybody a free hat of their choice if they spend, um, have it at $75? Is that good? Sure, that's fine. Okay. $75, you can choose any of the hats add it to your cart, and it should take 100% off of it. Now, I'm not going to give you the promo code yet. Um, no limit for total. John Belvedere, Belvedere said, uh, Terry is the new Hope Ford. <laughs> you hope? If you've been with us Hope for Ford a while, was the Hope she was. She won a couple times. Wait, no, was she here last time, or did I dream that? I think she was here last okay. time. I, I was going to say, I'm having an upsetting number of dreams <laughs> about this oh, place no. recently. Oh gosh, you're just you're just hard on yourself. Yeah, thanks, Drew. We'll see you next time. Wait, Bob's saying different types of salt do make a difference based on their surface area and crystal size. They had a nice little salt conversation down here. Yeah, that's the difference between Walton's Ultimate Steak and Roast Rub and Excalibur's Ultimate Steak and Roast Rub. Mm. All right, I made this um, good in conjunction with other deals, um, so it shouldn't uh, take away from anyone who wants to use a coupon code or anything like that. Let's go... Okay. Are you working? Didn't even add it to the cart, let alone and take all broken. the money off of it. So who won the cooler? Uh, the same guy who won the first thing. Oh, that's awesome. Yep, it's working. All right. So right now, as long as you spend more than $75, you can add any of the Walton's hats uh, let's make sure that that's accurate and that I didn't miss any. You can add the Cryptech Blaze Orange, the Digital Camo, the Meat Gistics hat, the black hat, either the either size, uh, the Walton's Camo hat, the Walton's Blue and White hat, Gray and Orange, Walton's Camo Fitted, and uh, the black hat. That's this one. Oh, the black hat is the, the one that only Josh looks good in. Um, yeah, and add those to your cart, and price will come off for it. A couple of those hats we're getting low on, so that will just be well stuck. Is there. Uh, do we want to talk about it all about backorder stuff? I don't, I don't know. Talk about. I don't know what we're talking about. That's the code he gives me when he says when he doesn't want me to talk about. No, how I, we I, I know. Literally I don't know what we're talking about. How we changed what we were doing. Like we reversed it basically. Oh, yeah. And then talk about the in stock notify thing again yeah. real quick. Yeah. So uh, in the past, we pretty much allowed back orders on like eighty percent of our products. Um, now that we have that in stock notify tool, we've switched that around. We're only offering the ability to back order on certain products, um, since everything has in stock notify on it. Um, so now it's about 20% of the items you can back order 80% of them. You'll just have to wait till it's in, um, that will make shipping a lot easier. Um, and hopefully long-term bring some costs down. Because uh, back orders are very expensive on us. People have to touch it at least twice, three, four times sometimes. Um, shipping on each one of those, especially if you're qualified for free shipping, we pay those. Um, while we don't pass all of that on, obviously, you know, it's it gets built into costs along the way. 
So um, the stopping huge numbers of back orders will solve numerous problems here. Uh, no code, Bob, you don't need a code. It's just anything over $75. If you have to add the cart to your shop or hat, add the hat to your cart and the cost will come off. I lo I, I, I'm just falling more in love with, with our new website. Um, it's excellent. So I actually maybe should have set this up without a coupon, but I don't think I want to do that because, yeah, that way people that know about it can use it. Uh, just set up a deal for buy one, get one shakers. Um anything on the Excalibur shakers category. So if you want to try fire, fire, firecracker rub, or you want to try uh, the new BHA backcountry wild game seasoning, or you want just the old trusty ultimate steak and roast rub, um, buy one shaker, um, add another one to your cart, get it for free. Use coupon code shaker third or shaker three thirty one twenty two. Today's date. Lars, if you are still here, No, I can't do that. He says he doesn't need it for the next, like, seven, or he's not going to order for the next 17 days. I don't want to, I can't extend the rule that far. Um, that free hat thing is good until end of the day Sunday. Do we still have promos out there for hats, shirts, or certain dollar amounts? Or, sorry. Yeah. Free. Face, you got no, because I just thought of it. <laughs> we didn't set that up. Ba -da -da -da. That should be really easy to set up, though. Probably. It's going to be insanely easy to set that up. What do we want to do it at? Uh, five or three? Three. I'd do it three. Not okay. that many people use it. <laughs> Brian Schneider just spent $500 30 minutes ago and would like a free hat. Um, I'm actually pulling up our system right now to see if I can find his order. If it hasn't shipped already, I'll, I'll throw one in. That's but how that's how quick the shipping goes around here, guys. There's a good chance it's already shipped and gone, though. So we will see. Yeah, that's, uh, sorry. Uh, it is already out the door. I can't change it. <laughs> What's up? What are you doing over there? <laughs> you know, I can go back and watch this over again. You're not see going what you're to, doing. though. No, I will. Uh, 323. Discount on products. Once per card. <laughs> when is our new seasoning coming out? Did we finalize that? No. Did we not? No. Oh, what okay. If... okay. So we're still going to be a month away. Yes. At least. Okay. Yes. Sounds creepy. Okay, so shaker code again. Use coupon code SHAKER33122. That's today's date. It gets you buy one, get one uh, from the Excalibur Shakers category. And uh, that category is under uh, the shopping menu, uh, seasonings, under shakers, sauces, and marinades. There's a category called Excalibur Shakers. Um, and I am cl creating that free hat or shirt on orders over 300 bucks. You have to add it to your cart up to one product, individual products, shirt. Five. Okay. It says eight hours left on the giveaway post. I, I'm going to uh, join the side of Star Gibson here and question why <laughs> why is there eight hours? Does it just automatically go to like midnight or something? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, where do you think you're going? Sit back down. We said we were going to stay here till the end. I was just shifting. We're going to stay here till the end. Shifting. That yeah. Full eight hours. The... If you're on, oh. like, we've, ju we've just <laughs> begun. If you're on like the full gleam thing, yeah, it says um, 
never it, sometimes it'll even say it's good for another day but if it's and and the fact that we're on the 31st today probably instead of the the first we we normally go on the first of the month so that might have something to do with it but I can't wait till tomorrow's April Fool's Day joke and we yeah. go back to our to old the website. old website <laughs> the most elaborate prank Let's just keep let's just do this over again and act like today didn't happen. I mean, maybe not the most elaborate prank ever, but pretty elaborate, I would say. Oh. <laughs> we spent four months of time working on it just to uh, you suckers. Sacrificed half of my sanity. <laughs> which was not a lot. In there wasn't a lot of it to begin with. Low sanity meter. Yep. Okay. The three hundred thing works as well. So we are good. Uh, 75, that's good until uh, Sunday, and then spend $300 or more and get a free hat or shirt. Actually, I need to make sure this doesn't. Cool. It does. It keeps it uh, for the correct number. Um, if you order $300 worth more or $300 or more before Sunday, you can technically use both of those. You can take advantage of the 75 and the, the $300 one. So we are generous. <sighs> okay. Are any more, were there more things coming across about um, login issues or do we mostly got that? Um, looking back over for comments. Our YouTube is still called Walton's Inc. as I'm saying. <laughs> Actually, that's going to be a project to have for you guys if uh, as we start to wind down from website stuff. Just figure out the whole Google situation and where our YouTube is tied to and if we can fix any of that. Yeah. Yeah, and then we've got a like all of our links um, for like the YouTube stuff. Like we still have waltonsinc.com slash sales on our current giveaway. It'll, all of that we're yeah. gonna have to fix. That'd be a slow. We shouldn't have to update it on anything in the past. No. I mean I don't plan on ever taking our redirects down. No, so no, no. Um, as long as our redirect dot pizza doesn't go away on us. It's ridiculous. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if any, I I don't know if anybody else would get a kick out of it, but uh John and I were talking about how we were going to do all our redirects from our old site to our new site. I was uh you can do it yourself. You can set up your own system to do it, but nowadays like everyone has a service for everything, so I'm like there's got to be something decently cheap out there. There's a there's a service called Redirect Pizza that that's what they do and looks like they're very highly rated for it so i was super excited and i told john i'm like i'm signing us up for redirect pizza and then and then i found out that by seeing that that dot pizza was a domain extension and so i thus went and proceeded to buy walton's dot pizza so if you go to actually i don't know where that and then goes threw right in now. for a penny waltons pizza.com Oh, I did. I didn't do anything with Walton's Pizza yet. Oh, um, so get it and then charge Austin. No, I bought it. I oh, just didn't okay. tell it to go anywhere. Yeah, this it a, just goes to a parking parking page. When's oh, man? Too bad we we well. No, it's National Pie Day. When's National Pizza Day? We could do a huge marketing slash advertisement thing with it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so every time you go to, it'll say dot pizza for that day instead of dot com or whatever. And we'll I like do, that idea. We'll do twenty percent off pizza stuff on the store. Uh, Lars, I'm looking through uh, to see if okay. I've got your email. Uh, I have your email address from what you signed up for the giveaway for. Seeing if we've got you in uh, the new system. If not, I'll try and find you in the old system and figure out what happened. That's a good question. Is there Walton's login? Yeah, we've got you. It's the same or different? from meet logistics login like they're separate accounts or right now they're separate, they're separate. Uh, we are looking at making it um where it's like conjoined yeah well i i think from what i'm 
what my knowledge is on it and how they work, we will we will be able to do it. It's a matter of when do we prioritize that sooner or later. I'd say within the, I mean within the year we do it within a year. I just don't know is it going to be like two or three months from now or like nine to twelve months from now. Um, I honestly haven't put a whole lot of thought into some of the things like that on what we're prioritizing next. I don't know if you have yet. Um, into what? Like what? Like what comes next? Yeah. I haven't done a whole lot of it lately because I've just no. been focusing on yes. this date. Are we waiting on a Jerry R or a Gary R? No. He said he was here. I was just curious. That's a great way to see if you can get free stuff. <laughs> just join one of our live streams and be like, I'm here. Hey, guys. No, everyone does that already. Maybe so. we'll yeah, forget. Plenty of people do do that. No, I just noticed he did it when no one else was doing it. So I figured maybe he, he's on to something. We need to have super chat hooked up somehow. Um, I don't think so. We well, should go do a donation. Or would you say it goes to a donation? Yeah. Um, that'd be cool with if we like gave it all to pass it on or something. Ooh. Yeah, we could do something like that. Yeah. Sometimes it would just be people donating and saying hi. Oh, I think, for sure. The majority of the time. That would be the vast majority yeah. of it. I don't think anybody yeah, wants their super chat or their chats <laughs> read so badly. Play my song on your. <laughs> Do it. So, and here's a here's a jam from a SoundCloud rapper. Hope you guys enjoy. Cool. All right, Lars, I just emailed you. Lars, it's either tall giant guy that you're afraid of or the drummer for Metallica. There's no in between. Um, so I used it with the same one that you signed up for this with. Nope, uh, Mike, it's automatic. Um, if you add, let me make sure that that's, I set it up before we switched everything over, um, but it should be where you add a uh, dual speed stuffer, the suction cup feet automatically get added to your cart. Someone wants to know, is there a list somewhere for all these coupon codes? Just in the chat. We yeah, don't really know. <gasps> Gasp, it's not working. Yeah, I don't think you. <laughs> That's fun. Why isn't that working? That was like the first one I set up. Wondering if all these other rules I have in the cart is stopping it. But it doesn't appear to be supposed to add it automatically okay let's try this again add to cart viewer edit cart I will have it back to um where it automatically adds them in a second here. All right, buys a product, a gift in their cart. No limit. Now you buy a quantity of one of any of these, then reward a gift in their cart once of this for free. Starting, yep, started when I first did it. Until then, US dollars, no limit for total usage can be, well, that's bothersome. Um, when I first set that up, it was working because I was super happy about that. Um, it seems as if something's overwritten it, so I'm going to have to find out what that is. What happens if I check out? Does it go, does it add it at checkout maybe? Nope. Oh, God. That was unclicked. I'm just scared. Huh. 
How foolish of you, Austin. My bad. To think I I'm sorry I didn't reach over to and To think hit the I had made you. a mistake. Yep, it's good now. Uh, just add one, or if there is one in your cart, it'll add it automatically. It added it, and I already had it in the cart. Um, so, you know, I turned it off for some stupid reason after creating it, even though I knew that the site wasn't going to be live until whatever. I see a big, wide glass of whiskey and a nice nap in my near future. Okay, so that's good. Never win, but I love the show. Good. Are Spiceology ingredients supposed to be listed? Because they currently are not. No. Yeah, it's just we don't Excalibur. It's just Excalibur. Yeah. If, if other companies that we sell offered to send us a feed of their ingredients that were kept up to date, we would do it. But um, we get that direct from Excalibur. Um, but other companies were, we don't want to manually have to track and maintain all that. Um, it's kind of a problem. But So uh, hopefully Mel is still here and saw us fix the suction cup feet as well. Um, Lars, I emailed you. Giveaway vac bags. Uh, do I need to put the stuff for suction cup feet? Yeah, some people were asking about that. Which is giveaway because it's sorted casings. Um, yeah, we could do some sort of giveaway in the future, maybe for next live stream, like a, a casing. Um, Set. Uh, da, 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 da. It was jerky and seasoning, and he won the cooler. Okay. Um, all right, so Will is asking if he think if we think the 50 pound mixer will hook up to an older Weston 22 Pro. It's one way or the other, and I can't remember which way. It, actually, I can find out. It, it's either our grinders hook up to their mixers, or their mixers hook up to our grinders, and it doesn't reverse. And it's because of difference in the size of the housing around the, what do we come up with? Sprocket? No, is the time on sprockets, fun fit dance. On the mixer, we say it hooks up to ours as well as some other models. So that 50 pound meat mixer should hook up to other models. I believe the model that you have, that Weston 22, is what we initially started testing our 50 pound on. Um, so... How do I do it? No. Yes. Yeah, he shakes his head the opposite of what he says. It should. It should work. Uh, no, there's no updates on the electric stuffers. I mean, the updates on it would be it's ordered. Um, it's a waiting game now. Yeah, it's just a when. As much as we can do, we've done, correct? Yep, yeah. everything is completed. I... I Wait times are going to continue to get longer for a while now, guys. So we yeah. were talking about how we had a, a bunch of a few pieces of equipment. And it was, you know, we had more than we thought we would have. And I was like, well, I, I don't see that as a bad thing at this point. I'm like, it, at some point in the future, those ones that we have may be the only ones on the market because nobody else can get any. So Yeah, where we used to be two months to get stuff in from overseas wherever we were getting stuff from whether it was asia europe australia um now we're we're at like nine months australia used to be fast uh-huh we we had stuff that sat in australia even longer just because uh just hit it a right time where we could they could not get a container um it sat there for months just waiting for a oh. container Uh, 
Uh, Justin, yep, we did draw the the March winner, um, and that was that winner was uh, Michael Taylor. I don't know how long ago this is because they don't timestamp them anymore. But uh, Janie says Smokehouse Barbecue is so good. Smokehouse Barbecue is a very good seasoning. Uh, do I have his number? <clears throat> so what would we say? The biggest issue, obviously, was the transactional email thing. Yeah, if we got that solved, we got the logging in solved. I think the biggest that that's been the biggest complaint is issues with that. Um, we'll have order history pulled back in by that's next week. Yeah. And how long can we leave um, the emails coming from them instead of our transactional place? We can leave it forever. Oh, we really? Just, we just lose visibility on some of it, like. Um, can't see if it some, sent. yeah, if someone's like, I'm not getting it, I can, we can go into our other provider. We can look and we can pull up the actual email that was sent. We can see that it, that it left us at this time. We got these responses from the next server. It was handed off to and along the whole chain, what the responses were. Um, we just have very granular visibility into the, from the send to the time the other person receives and opens the email and opens, right. right. And doing it this way, we have none, none zero so. but it seems to have worked yeah which is good come on Waiting on this, just loading, loading. There we go. And I officially have it working. Waltons.pizza takes you to <laughs> waltons.com. Don't know what we're going to do I, with that, but we might use it someday. I can't even get my own name as a as a website because there's over, there's someone famous named Patrick so or Patrick and my last name I don't want to <laughs> throw myself out there like that but same here like uh I've tried to do stuff with Austin and my last name but I don't want to get my last name so people don't <laughs> 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 no I I try to like look at like austinwalton.com or Austin Walton this and there's some like sports agent out there yeah there's just something it. yeah yeah it's funny. The one guy he does dog videos on Vine is the reason that my name is not organic anymore. If I were to become uber famous, <laughs> yeah, we've got a bunch of people using the in stock notifies. Good. Oh, you getting notifications on uh -huh. those? Yeah, I'll eventually turn that off. I love those, by the way. First when I would go to other sites, like you think, oh, sure, you guys are going to email me. And then six months later, you get that random, oh, my God. Yeah, I'll buy. No, it's too expensive. And then you don't buy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do we have anything else? I don't think so. I've got nothing. Just went relatively smooth. If anybody has any other questions, issues, comments, complaints, you, um, you can always reach out to our customer service team. You can do the contact us form on the site. You can go to. Uh, <laughs> I've got one. I want go. Uh, do you your thing. Go to go to Meet Gistics, um, Leave a post out there. Um, um, people will leave feedback um, then that John and I see directly, and we respond to from there. So, um, if you guys have or have other issues or questions. Uh, let us know, but hopefully uh, we'll see you guys again soon and we'll have some uh, more updates to share and more new features and we'll we'll actually get to spend more time on 
developing a better experience for you guys instead of just putting out fires putting out fires the whole time yeah all right real quick um before we go mr shep 17 says jonathan i keep kicking around the true hone should i get it and get rid of the rest of my sharpeners you've used it and i trust your opinion um true hone is the best sharpener hands down that i've ever used super simple to use it's adjustable um it's expensive obviously um so it depends on how much you sharpen and how important really sharp knives are to you now if you scroll way back up in the chat austin um made a coupon code that i think somebody wanted to spend over a thousand dollars so he made the coupon 150 dollars off a thousand yeah so austin three thirty one twenty two today's date yep three so austin 3 31 22 will get you 15 percent off basically it'll get you 150 dollars off whatever the total cost of the true hone is now true hone cost does continue to go up um so now i would say would be the best time i love it i think it's a great product um it reminds me of like an old vhs player my dad had because it's very like 80s style they're called vcrs I said vhs player we just had this discussion you're so old <laughs> you why are they called vcr vhs is the thing you put in a vcr oh really yeah yeah that is right you knew this that is right come on you're from our, you're from yes I'm, that's my that's my wheelhouse <laughs> um so but Please continue. <laughs> i love it for that i also love it for an old marketing campaign they did that was just tickles me funny but it does an amazing job on knives so i would recommend it for sure Cool. Anything else you guys want to plug? No. Going to go home and sleep. <laughs> yup. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I guess we'll catch you next time. Sounds good. All Thanks, right. everybody. Thanks, guys.